I'm going to make a classic British high tea today. Um, going to just try making some new recipes. I'm going to try for some a mixture of savory and sweet. So I'm going to make some fruit scones, um, some shortbread cookies, petite fours, and some savory cheese muffins. I'll also top that off with some tea sandwiches, a mix of cucumber tea sandwiches and egg salad tea sandwiches. So I'm going to try to do this in sort of the time frame of the Great British Baking Show. So I'm going to try to have things going concurrently in the oven or rising. So the first one to make is the fruit scones because those take a while to rise. So let me get those started. Um, just going to grab my scale. Then I'm going to grab my flour and my sugar. Get some bowls out here. And I need to boil some water for my currants. So I'm just going to turn on the tea kettle. Get that going. Grab my flour. sugar. And everything nice. All right. Let's get started. grams won't fit in there. Right. 500 grams of flour. I'm looking at the wrong recipe. Let's do this right. Four ninety, four ninety eight, five hundred and two. Close enough. All right. So I've got this. I need twenty eight grams of baking powder. Probably just going to add it directly on here. I'm just going to tear. I just so it's 500, so I will go to 528. That's a good amount. 508, I need another 20. 22. Twenty-four. It's like teensy bits of that's good. All right. Baking powder. Good day, sir mate. 
your fancy emotes. I am using my floor as my pantry. All right, I need 86 grams of sugar. Oh, spilled sugar on my floor. Six grams. So next, I'm gonna want to combine my butter into here. I'm gonna mix my eggs with my buttermilk. So I'm just gonna use a fairly large container for that. Um, let's see. This will do. So I need. 140 mils of buttermilk. There's sugar everywhere. Um, here we go, buttermilk. Buttermilk. So if you don't have buttermilk, you can add vinegar to regular milk. So you can just buy buttermilk in the store. Then you'll have leftover buttermilk and you can make all sorts of buttermilk recipes. So let's go to about 140. Go in here. All right. Then I'm doing two eggs. Um, I need my high tea so that I'm not so sleepy. All right, two eggs are going in my milk. So I just don't want to overwork my batter once I add the liquids so that's why I'm doing uh, mixing the egg in separate all right let's get my butter going <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Hannah. Um, seeing you around in buttons streams. Hope you're having a great day. Get my butter on. Yeah, I feel like we have the same name. <laughs> I just shortened it to Han <laughs> with Hannah Nan. Um, Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm act I'm making some nice high tea. So I'm starting with an actual recipe from Buckingham Palace for making scones that the queen eats. And Newt will get to eat them all, I guess. So these are traditional British scones. Happy to have you here for as long as you want to hang out. I am trying for Canadian Bake Show one day, so I gotta learn all of these uh, traditional British recipes. And high teas are just fun. There we go, my butter. Okay, 
So I'm gonna slice up my butter so it mixes in. So very, the butter, if you're in the US, um, I would recommend buying the dairy gold butter, the like expensive dairy gold Irish butter. Um, the US butter tends to be really hard and not cut easily. Canadian butter just cuts, like this is cold butter and it, it just cuts. Um, so in the US you might have to wait for your butter to warm up slightly or use the more expensive European butter. Um, but butter is the most important part about your scones. If it's not right, your scones won't turn out right, so got to be careful there. All right, so I'm going to combine this, mix this up, and then um, I'm going to start soaking my currants. So traditionally, this recipe is either currants or sultan raisins. So just whisking my egg into my buttermilk right now. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a small bowl. Okay, so this is gonna be for my currants. Um, 100 grams of so I couldn't find sultans in the store. Um, but I got the next best thing, dried currants. All right, so I need 100 grams of currants. these currants um, that they kind of soak and get a little more moisture. I'm going to pour off the water before I combine the currants. Um, with my batter, so I just boiling water from the tea kettle and just getting those currants rehydrated. Um, so those are going to sit back here. And I'm going to combine these. I'm going to use a pastry knife, get my butter mixed in, stir up these eggs a little more. So I'm just using a pastry knife here. Um, you can actually do this part in a blender or a food processor. Because the goal is to get your cold butter nice and mixed in. It kind of makes a crumbly texture. And then I'm going to let it rest um, for 30 minutes. And while it's resting, I'm going to make my chiffon cake uh, for my petite fours. So I've never made petite fours, but they are often a technical challenge in either the Great Canadian or the Great British Bake Show. So I definitely need to try them. They look really cute. I'm going to try making them today and I'm going to try to make some decorative buttercream flowers on top. We'll see how it goes. Um, it might not go well. We will see. So just crumbing this together. Actually, before I pour that even, I'm going to start making my um, my tea biscuits because those need to sit for a while. The butter creamed um, with the tea. I got to think about things, make things most efficiently. Hey, Newt, you want to hang out? Yeah. I am making this. Beans, fruit, spinach. 
You, it's a recipe from Buckingham Palace. It's a recipe from Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. That's pretty cool. I got it from their official website. They claim that they serve like 3,000 of them. Or it was like either 3,000 or 30,000. A ridiculous number of scones at the Queen's summer garden parties throughout the year. Noise. I don't think we're ever going to get an invite there. No. No. But you're going to get the same high tea. Hey, God Hand, how are you doing? Nice to have you here. How have you been? Do you do um, daylight savings where you live? Because daylight savings sucks. I'm very tired. I think this might be too wet for this. I might have to knead it by hand. Okay. Um, so I'm just trying to combine my scone dough. So scones, if you overwork them, they get really um, heavy. So you want them to be fluffy, which means you get you can't work them too much. And by work them, I mean knead them. Because if the flour develops a whole bunch of gluten, your scones won't taste right. Like, the texture will be wrong. Did I do what? Had to adjust the volume. Oh, um, just asking if daylight savings is a thing. I think it's a thing pretty much everywhere. I don't know. So it's, it's noon here, but it feels like it should be 11. Got an hour less sleep. Is there an obvious joke around, like, oh, yes? I'd tell you how I make bread, but it's on a knead the dough basis or something. <laughs> yes. <Do> I, <laughs> is there a joke a, around that? I like, think there's a joke on that. I'm making one up, but like, I feel like it could be better. I know. I, I yeah. Sorry, this recipe is on a knead to dough basic ba basis. Yeah. It's something like something that. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should look it up. There's there's definitely a joke I'm here. sure there's a billion baking jokes. <laughs> probably, it's only like a hundred exactly <laughs> the same ones. Yeah, we're probably pretty quiet, I think. Um, is it this one? No, it's not microphone, but... <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, it's the microphone over there. The main laptop. Yeah, are we too quiet? Are we too quiet, God Hand? Hey, Leo! I'm making high tea. I am going to make egg sandwich and cucumber sandwiches to go with my scones and my little biscuits. I'm <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about that crap when you have to adjust the clocks by an hour? Yeah, 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 yeah we are. <laughs> except... It's total crap. Except it's more like you forget to adjust your clocks. and Okay, I'll just adjust the clocks right now. Hang on. Okay, yeah, go adjust all our clocks. Um, clock... Oh guys, I shaved uh, I shaved Newt's head. Newt, show off your haircut. It's a twelve oh two. Is a reason no, no, exactly. It's... it's the only reason to eat cucumber or egg sandwiches. So I'm making scones. I'm making some Parmesan cheese egg muffin, like egg muffins, um, as like my savory. And then I'll make a nice tea sandwich. I don't know how to set the AM PM on this thing, so it's on AM now. I'll yep. have to adjust it at midnight. They they want to see your hair. What are you doing? He's setting the time. I'm setting the clocks. <laughs> I'm, it's it's daylight. I'm setting the clocks. This is my hair. Isn't that cute? It is kind of a Ryan Reynolds haircut, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to need. The scones in. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's totally understandable, God Hand. Thanks for telling us the volume is okay, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, thanks. Look, bend down. Get closer. He's got to trim his beard next. It's, it's just... 
It's just all it is is just you know shaving my head basically a lot shorter with uh, you know whatever. a little bit of styling, but mostly yeah. Yeah, okay. no, it's not professional barbering by any means. But you take that back. It's professional barbering by all means. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I say? I said the you opposite. You said the opposite. <laughs> oh no. You keep getting confused. All right, uh, I'm gonna drain my currants. So I have rehydrated currants. Is that your current objective? It is my current objective. That's good. You know, he will one day play Ori, Leo. I promise you. There was a while, before he started streaming, there was a while when he really wanted to play Ori. And we bought it and everything. Believe it or not. Well, I don't know. Did I say this? What? But I started Ori, and then I just put it down to play other things, and I haven't come back. Oh, I didn't realize you started it. Yeah, I kind of, I started it, and I played... Like, I watched oh. the very long opening cutscene, and which was sad. And I remember then I, I explored a little bit, and I got some abilities, and then, I don't know, it must have been an hour at the most. And then I put it down, and I was like, I'll come back to it, but then I never did. <laughs> okay, this feels like a proper scone dough. Okay, so I gotta cover it and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Played it for an hour and put it away for years before you played it for real. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's where I am. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, I played it for an hour and put it down stage, but I want to come back. Like, it's not that I don't want to come back to it. It's just, you know, There's life. so many games. Life and all the games. And, and all I the, keep you know... making you hang out with me. You can't just play games 24-7. Dang it. I know, because I'm like, oh, we got to hang out. We got to go exercise and go for bike rides. And I made him go to a video, a used video game store yesterday. He has a really hard life, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna cover this, um, let it rest, and start my butter tea. It all changes after that. really does, Leo. Um, he'll play. He'll play for sure. All right. We covered this bowl up. Look at these cute little avocado bowl covers I got. They're so cute. Just sort of adorable. Green and avocado. I like green. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> okay. So, while that is going, let me start the next time consuming thing. Avocado. Look, Newt gets obsessive about things, so he has to be careful about what he starts playing because once he starts, that's what he's doing. You know? So, he's got to be a little careful. Alright, one cup of butter. I don't know what that is in grams. Oh, no, this is a half cup. Let's see. This doesn't have to be exact, so I will just use cut instead of weight. Um, so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this butter... I'm going to throw it in my mixer, which I moved over there so it won't make terrible noise. And I'm going to um, blend it with some Yorkshire Gold Loose Leaf Tea and make a butter tea mix that I'm just going to leave for, you know, the majority of the stream. And then I'm going to bake my shortbread cookies with it at the very end. Um, so 
I hope these turn out well. I've never done like a tea infused butter before. Kind of excited. Um, yeah. Celeste and Jump King players, I think, by nature are obsessive. And clearly I'm not an obsessive person by my four hour showstopper streams. Nope. Newt's the only weirdo here. So I'm just gonna chop this into pieces to make it easier on my mixer. So I'm just going to have it mixing back here, see how it goes. Um, making a tea infused butter. So that's going to blend. Oh, it's definitely way better back there than up by my computer. Um, I'm using Yorkshire Gold. you got to do a proper British tea. Oh. oh, I think, um, if jumping were like a little mobile game, I might play it. <laughs> like a little... That could be fun, but I don't think I actually want to sit down and play a normal jump game. Okay, I got an idea. I'm listening. You maybe should try Pullywog. What is Pullywog? Pullywog's like, it's a free in-browser game, and it's a short, it's sort of a short um, Jump King light game. Alright. It's, it's also very difficult, but I feel like... I feel like a lot of people consider it a lot shorter and maybe even easier. So you can Ooh, give that a try. Like I will give that a try. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't played it though, so I can't say. I've been meaning to play it. I don't have the best butter. I have a Western Family brand. Polywog. I will give Polywog a try. Um, I'm just hoping that the tea infusion improves the quality of my butter. I mean, it's still better than, like, typical American butter. Nice. So, two tablespoons. Wait, what are you putting this in? Butter. I'm making tea infused Earl butter. Ray shortbread. Hey, Button. How are you doing? Thanks for the raid. I hope your stream was going well. Um, you said you were doing a makeup stream. What look did you said it was a video game character? What look did you end up going with? I am making a high British tea. Welcome, button in everyone. I'm hoping to make a nice British tea. I'm sitting at 48 followers, so I'm hoping maybe I'll get my uh, 50 followers this stream. Um, I'm also trying to make really tasty high tea. I'm going with Earl Grey shortbread cookies. So right now I've got the butter in the mixer um, and I'm trying to infuse it with like a tea flavor. So I'm combining the butter and the tea leaves and I'm just going to let it. Fall. Hey, thanks for the follow Rainbow Mike Gaming. Um, I really appreciate that. I'm so close to affiliate. Now uh, I think I'm at 49 now. Um, I'll make it there one day. Um, I'm also making fruit scones, which are resting, and I'm making, of course, classic tea sandwiches, um, some savory cheese muffins, and I'll be doing a petite four French classic technical challenge. Um, this is my high tea showstopper challenge, great British baking show attempt, so it'll take me about four hours. I'm super happy if anyone wants to come in, drop in, drop out lurk stay for the stream i'm just excited to be doing this and have you guys along for the ride yay thanks button yeah i i love your streams too button um i gotta uh what what makeup did you end up going with you said you were doing a um video game character today but i didn't see 
But you said which one you were doing. Let me just combine that in the background. Um, oh, Yennefer from The Witcher. Okay. Um, so I think the TV show and the video, probably a video game, right? Not the TV show makeup. I think they're very different. the saved looks, see how, how your end result was. I'm sure it was awesome. Alright. So in case you're wondering what a uh, tea-infused butter looks like. Ooh. Wait, eye makeup of the TV show, but the contouring of the video game. Yeah. I like the like super cool shimmery eye makeup looks um but I feel like in real life I'm not confident enough to pull them off because it's it's a lot to be walking out without with it oh man okay I'm gonna I will I will check your Instagram page button um button has a Instagram and a Twitch page, and she posts a lot of pictures on them. Um, so I will check out that Instagram and see how it looked. I haven't done makeup since I went to a Christmas holiday Christmas party with my work this year, and I like I did some like seashell golden eyeshadow, and I. Uh, did like a really red lip and I wore like a really bright red dress. Um, but like that's the only time I've done makeup in the last year. So I'm gonna need to watch one of your streams, maybe one of your VODs, so then I can just watch it at my own pace and try to copy what you do. I never did makeup as a kid, so not great at it. Especially eyeliner. Eyeliner is hard. This is a tea infused butter. I'm going to use it for my shortbread cookies. It does take practice. I know a lot of people like they got their practice out of the way in middle school when it was okay to, to do crazy wild looks because you know you're you're a middle school or high school or whatever. But now I feel like if I <laughs> went out with her really bad looking makeup, people would judge me. Yeah, college, I tried to wear some makeup in college for like parties and stuff, but never really stuck with it. Never got good at it. Um, so I'll stick to, I guess I could be baking mash beauty if I start doing beauty screen, streams and baking streams. It's like button mash, but baking mash. Uh, all right, so this is beautiful tea infused butter. The longer you let it sit, the more flavor it gets. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit for majority of the stream and then I'm gonna make the shortbread cookies very last. Uh, they only take 20 minutes in the oven, so I'm just going to try to get this Earl Grey flavor just to really get into my butter. So this is going to sit over here. Don't have space anywhere else. <laughs> and I'm going to start making petite fours. So this is the most complicated recipe I'm going to make today. I have never made this before. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have a recipe from Preppy Kitchen. Um, I'm gonna try to follow. So hopefully it works out. Uh, it's it's complicated. There's pages and pages of direction. Hashtag Beauty Brigade. Yes. 
We should just make like a whole list of button mash beauty, but like different instead of button, different uh different versions for all of us and just do a huge variety streamer um brigade. Alright. Let me see what I'm doing. I'm excited to make these. Um Okay, so a half baking sheet. I have one of those. Line it with parchment paper. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Butter. Uh, sugar. Cream cheese. And add the eggs. So that'll be in there. I'm just going to use the same bowl um, that I just made my butter in. And let me make sure I have a 12 by 17 inch pan. Seems a little small. Here we go. Doesn't say size, but I think this is a half cake tray. So, got one of these. And the point of the petite fours is that's a very thin cake. Um, and you kind of cut it. Um, into very small pieces. So it's going to be like little mini bite-sized cakes that are like two inch by two inch. Um, they're covered with like a white chocolate fondant um, and buttercream and they have jam in the middle and they're like the little fancy things you eat with high tea. I never made them. They're a technical challenge. I watched a lot of people struggle with them on the Great Canadian Bake Show. So I'm um, expecting to struggle with them. So let's get to it. All right. Um, first thing first, I'm the realist. Okay. So I need 340 grams of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese. All of my cream cheese is store brand. All of my butter is store brand. I am not particularly fancy. Um, all right. I'm just going to put the butter on here. So, to work. I have 14 grams. I need to add an additional all the way to 340. Actually, I think this entire block is still less than 340. Yep, yeah, 250. Did not realize these were going to use so much butter. Might have to send Newt out for butter. But she's going to judge me for it because we just went out for butter. Let's see. Okay, 300. 336. 338, oh, gotta do this right, 339, how much is one gram of butter? What could it cost? Ten dollars, all right. That is going in there. Because my butter is a little cold, I'm gonna chop it up to make it easier on my mixing bowl. Which already sounds like it needs oil. It's, it's a sad mixing bowl. So I'm just gonna cut it into little cubes. Um, it helps. It helps cream faster when you do that. So I'm gonna do it. And if you don't have a hand mixer, or if you have to do it by hand, cutting it into cubes will make it so much easier for you. And of course, the higher the quality of butter, the easier it cuts and the easier it goes into cream. So like Leo has said, quality of butter makes a huge difference. This is low quality butter because I'm just feeding Newt. He doesn't need quality, quality items. I'm learning the techniques. If I were making this for like, you know, having relatives or friends over for a high tea, I would 
probably buy a high quality carry gold butter and use that. And there's going to be a little bit of tea flavor in there, which I am happy with because Thai tea. Um, and so I'm going to cream that. And then I'm going to add the sugar, try to get that nice and fluffy. Um, and I'm going to add sugar, which I think, yeah, 450 grams of it. Quite a lot of sugar, actually. Um, so I kind of cream my butter first, and then I'll add the sugar. Um, so if you don't know what creaming butter means, you should be able to see the cream. Once butter is creamed, it kind of changes um, color and structure, so it will start looking fluffy. Um, I'll try to show you occasionally on and off in the mixing bowl. Uh, I just have my mixing bowl way over there because the noise, I don't want to bother everybody. Um, so let's, let's cream some butter. <laughs> And I'm going to lay out my sugar. I, I really got to hit that mixer fix. I don't know. Um, I need 450 grams of sugar. I don't know that it'll fit in here. I might have to use a different bowl. Yeah, that's only a head. We'll try our best. show my mixer just a little bit so you can see the butter creaming. So it is not creamed yet. Um, it will be creamed. Uh, when it starts sticking to the walls. <laughs> Mixer can. Um, when it starts mixing, sticking to the walls, that's when it's starting to be creamed. So we're trying to cream the butter. Maybe I'll turn down the brightness. That might help. Yeah. Alright, so it's starting to stick to the walls. So I'm going to start adding my sugar. I'm going to slow it down while I add my sugar. Um, and then once I add the sugar, the butter will really get really fluffy. Kind of like cold peaks. So 
we'll go until we get to that level. And once it's there, I will add in my cream cheese. Okay, so you can see it's starting to pull off the sides. Um, you can't really overdo this part. I just, I want it to be soft, I want it to be fluffy. Um, this is so much easier with a mixer. If you're doing it by hand, this would be exhausting. anymore um show you it is soft oh and fluffy dang it i think my laptop shut oh no did my stream die stream come back okay uh, my laptop uh, fell over and shut itself. There we go. Um, that's back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I should be more careful. Anyway, the butter is creamed. <laughs> it's soft and it is fluffy. You must always fluff your butter. I want your butter is fluffed. Um, even for cookies, like if you're making just like a classic chocolate chip Nestle cookie recipe, letting your butter and your sugar just cream and then adding your eggs to that and just letting it cream until it's soft and fluffy and it actually changes color um it'll make a huge difference in the texture of your cookies so if you want to make the best chocolate chip cookies it's not about recipe it's about technique um and the best technique is you cream that butter the sugar and the eggs you make it really nice and fluffy and then you add your once you add your dry ingredients you don't over mix it um, just a, just until combined and then you stick it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before sticking it in the oven and you will make the best cookies that way Because people are always asking like what my cookie recipes are um, but my cookie recipe is I mean, it's, it's the same recipe, you know, you can have like three people make the exact same recipe and the cookies will all turn out different, um, based on, you know, their technique. And if you just combine everything really fast in your mixing bowl, you're going to get kind of flat, sad cookies. So if you don't let your cream cheese um, spin long enough, you kind of end up with like cream cheese chunks, which isn't great. Um, sometimes it happens to me with frosting because I just, I don't let it warm up to room temperature and then I don't cream it long enough. Um, you see it's nice and fluffy, fluffy. And I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl. And I'm gonna start adding eggs. Alright. 
You can tell this is a French recipe because it's like 90% butter. All right. Um, so I'm going to add in five eggs. Um, I'm going to add them into a little bowl first and kind of beat them together. And then I will throw them into the mixer bowl. <laughs> Eat all the butter. It's delicious butter right now, Button, because it's got a little bit of tea in it and it's got sugar and cream cheese. So it's basically a frosting, um, but like 90% butter frosting. Let's see, I'm gonna rinse this out and reuse it. Um, So this recipe calls for regular milk. I'm actually going to use buttermilk. Butter and sugar is amazing. Actually, um, honey butter, where you do this exact thing, but you add uh, some more honey to it. And you just have like cream butter with honey. So good. Just like stick it on um, biscuits. Amazing. I first had some at a steakhouse and I like had to figure out a recipe for it because it was so good. So five eggs. Let's do this. Um, And another two. Binnen stitch. Yeah. I think the Germans are another group that loves butter. Place called the Texas Roadhouse that's hunting cinnamon butter. Yeah. I haven't gone to the Texas Roadhouse. Um, but that sounds good. I, I actually I went to this really fancy steakhouse in um, Washington, DC, and I got a coffee rub steak. Um, with a side of honey butter and like rolls. It was like a mol brown molasses rolls and it was so good. A sandwich is basically a yeast dough sandwich with a buttercream filling topping. Oh, that sounds really good, God hand. All right, Newt, will you write that down? What do I need to write down? Uh, binnen stitch, what God hand said. As a recipe, I'm going to look up. Okay. to make. Um, I actually, so I made a Italian cake that sounds kind of similar to that. Um, it was a yeast, really soft, sweet bread yeast cake. And then in the middle was a Chantilly cream. And then it was just topped with powdered sugar and a little bit of powdered cocoa in, in designs. It's called a Straccia, Straccia Ayaka or something. I don't know, it's a traditional Florence cake. And it was, it was quite good, actually. Um, so I would be down for making another yeast cake. It's not something that's common in the US. Surface light. Instead of writing it down, I just copied oh, it into your Discord. Thanks, I see that. Thanks. All right, so now I'm gonna add my eggs. A little at a time. Lives here, he can come 
come hang out and do whatever he wants. Okay, now I need to add in my two teaspoons of vanilla. I gotta get a half cup of milk out. I am doing buttermilk because I have buttermilk. I think buttermilk just adds a little bit of um, flavor to things, so when I have it, I use it. Okay, got to scrape down the sides because I want this really smooth and consistent. Oh, well, thanks, God Hand. Yeah, I will. I will definitely make that cake because I want to try making cakes that are um, new to me that I've never had or never seen. Um, at American or Canadian recipes. So like there's a lot of French cuisine I've had a lot of, um, but we don't get a ton of like European style desserts around here. So I'm scraping it down because the butter really sticks to the edges and I want to make sure it is all mixed in. I want this very smooth and consistent before I add my flour because like I said if you let your flour mix too long um, it ruins the texture of your cake so anything that's going to take a while to mix in you want to make sure it's done before you add in your flour Once you add in your flour, you're on limited time. All right. So I'm going to need to lay out my flour. I will stick it in here. I'm going to put in my vanilla. Um, pretty much all I have to do is salt, baking powder, and flour. That is nice and smooth. It's a beautiful batter, actually. It's like, it's really pretty. Um. Oh, I guess I should turn on my oven. Two teaspoons vanilla. I just get the Costco vanilla because I go through so much of it. Um, I guess you could always buy fan like vanilla beans. I've never actually cooked with vanilla beans. So that is something I'm gonna need to try is actually cooking with vanilla beans, but for now I'm just using vanilla extract. Okay, so I'm going to do I'm doing salt, baking powder, and flour. Uh, salt. Where is my baking powder? Baking powder. Yeah, what exactly? It's so expensive. Like, I'll do it just once, maybe. Like, for a special occasion, I'll make it. Like, that's my plans. Um... But just on like a regular like cake, oh, it's expensive. And I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference in flavor. Like, I, I mean, I have to try and see if it's worth it. You know. But for the cost, like, whew, you're definitely not going to save money by uh, making your own food that way. Half. One. Okay. I don't even, I guess I'd go to the specialty baking store to um, buy beans. Alright, so I mixed my baking powder and my salt. Now I'm going to add 360 grams of flour. Okay. 
and I can turn off while I do this. 360 grams, which is right around um, three cups. Three hundred fifty-eight. Come on, sixty. We've made it. I've gone through a lot of flour, and Newt thought I was crazy when I bought a giant twenty-five pound bag of flour because it was on sale. Who's crazy now? Probably the person who went through a 25 pound bag of flour. All right. They might be cheaper. I don't know. I'm the gourmet. That that's the name of our specialty grocery store here. It's called the gourmet, and it is pricey. A very expensive store. All right, so I'm gonna mix. So I'm gonna do flour and then add milk. I'm gonna alternate. Um, and then I will put this into the line baking sheet and I will bake it for about 25 minutes. So hopefully this will work out for me. I'm going to try to make buttercream um, my goal is to make some little pretty buttercream flowers on top. Um, I, again, I've never really decorated anything, so we'll see how pretty I can make it. But that's my goal, and I'm going to try my best. Alright, so let's put this on stir. <laughs> I love those bowls. They are the best bowls. And we're good. They are the absolute best bowls. I love them so much. It's, it's like the stack of five and they all have lids and they're all color coded. They are so nice. I got them as a wedding present and I love them. All right, back over here. So I am gonna keep going. I'm gonna move this cord out of the way. Um, all right, I feel like I'm making good time. So, for this, okay, I'm going to pour them into my pan. My big old pan. I'm going to ah, turn this back on. Have some light. Um, yeah. Oh, also they have like little measuring things inside. So, so good. Stainless steel. I think I think they were on my like Amazon. Oh uh, yeah, they're called Von Chef. They're fantastic. Von Chef. Can't really see it because of the bright light, but they're Von Chef. They are awesome bowls. I think everyone should own like a set of stainless steel mixing bowls. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got flour in the air. Oh, sneezy. Okay, oh, parchment paper.
So let's see how fancy we can be. Um, parchment paper is awesome. I like baking with it because you don't get like a horrible mess. Which is nice. Alright. Let's see. So my corners will be a little rough. But okay, I'm going to trim the cake. So it should be okay. and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch, two centimeter by two centimeter. Um, but you cut them after the cake is baked. So, it's a very nice batter, very smooth. I quite like it. These go in the oven. Um, I guess while I'm doing that question, do I want to make my savory muffins or do I want to start boiling my eggs? I might want to start boiling my eggs. Um, so I have an Instapot. So I've never made hard boiled eggs in an Instapot before, but it's supposed to be super easy. Actually, the only thing I've done in an Instapot is histology, like <laughs> antigen retrieval for my histology slides in the lab. I've never used an Instapot for home. Um, but I bought one, so I think I will try to use it today. Yeah, I feel like, uh, non-scientists might not know, but most labs, especially like imaging labs, have Instapots in the lab that we use for making, um, making tissue slide samples. Like, Instapot should be advertising to scientists, like, we're always using that instead of super fancy pressure cookers. Alright, this is a pretty dough. Not to batter it up, <laughs> but it looks delicious. It's got some tea flavor. Got some vanilla. I hope the petite fours come out well. <coughs> if they don't, um, at least I tried. Do I get points for trying? I think I get points for trying. This is practice. This was a technical challenge on the first season of the Great Canadian Bake Show. Um, making petite fours. So. But unlike the technical challenge, I have the very detailed recipe, so I'm definitely doing it on easy mode. And also I watched them make it, so yeah, I'm doing it on easy mode, but it's still difficult. You know, it's still like a, a technical bake. It's got a lot of, a lot of aspects. It. So you got like this batter, um, which I'm hoping, so I got to really smooth this out um, because I don't want my cake to be lumpy because so I'm going to cut it and stack it. So it's got to be pretty perfect. Um, you can actually see the dark flecks of the Yorkshire tea pretty well in here. So, I like the idea of combining the tea with the butter for a lot of recipes. Like, we'll see how well that works in the shortbread cookies, but if it works well, I can see myself doing that for a lot of things. You know, I feel like you could even infuse butter with like a lavender or something that way. Um, probably be delicious or make it like a citrus butter from like a orange zest and we'll let it sit overnight in your fridge or something I bet that would be delicious okay I'm really trying to make this smooth 
Okay. Let me get this going well. So if you didn't cream your butter well, you would see little butter chunks in your batter when you're doing this. So okay. I think this is okay smooth. Corner's a little low. Okay, I'm going to stick it in the oven. Well, in a few minutes. Oven's not quite there yet, so let's kind of like smack it to make sure you get any big air bubbles out. Um, okay, that will go in the oven. So. Well, I'm waiting on that. So I have fruit scones. Um, they are ready for the next step, which is to roll them out, cut them to shape, and let them rest for another 20 minutes. So I'm going to do that. Um, I have my deviled eggs that I'm gonna make, and I have my savory muffins. Savory muffins should be super easy. Um, I just kind of bake them and throw them together. So that won't be so bad. I'm just, I'm trying to think timing wise. So if I want to do this in the four hour limitations, which I'm sure I will get them. I, I'm actually feeling pretty good on time right now. Um, so let me get going on these scones. I might have to clean my mixing bowl. Okay, the batter for that cake is really delicious, even though it's got raw eggs in it and I shouldn't be eating it. I recommend eating it. Just salmonella, probably worth it. But it's a good batter. I mean, butter is delicious, right? So when your batter is, when your batter is 90% butter, whew, so good. I guess I could um, start using pasteurized eggs. Then you can eat raw batter without risking salmonella. But... I've never once gotten salmonella, and I eat a lot of raw cookie dough when I'm not supposed to. So yeah, that's why you're not supposed to eat raw. Um, it's because you could... You get some salmonella, you get some listeria, anything that is on the eggs, you could get because they're not cooked. And eggs, I mean, they're not exactly the cleanest of things, so. I'm just cleaning this so I can make some um, other food in it. I'm going to have to make buttercream for frosting my cake. Um, That is good. All cleaned. Um, all right, I'm going to grab out. Oh, look at my batter. Look how pretty. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Are you proud? Very proud. I'm going to. I'm doing something. Oh, I was gonna. Do you think I should boil eggs on the stove or should I use the Instant Pot? I've never used the Instant Pot. Instant Pot. You try it. Didn't we have an easy egg maker, too? Oh, yeah. Can you try to find it in there? It's, like, on the top shelf. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's a long time ago that we've used it. All right. Into the oven. All right. So, it is 12.59. So, at uh, 1.25, I will check on that. All right. So, Ooh. it's kind of dusty. <laughs> Those will work. Kind of. Okay. You don't need like or anything or remember how to use it? I think I remember how to use it. I think I just put water up to here, pour it here, put the egg on it, and then turn it on. Yeah. And it just steams it? Yeah. 
It's a very easy thing. All right. Thank you. I'm going to make hard boiled eggs. Just gonna stick this somewhere. I need space. I guess I'll stick it here. Um, space is a shortage in my kitchen. boil all of these eggs um, because I want to make egg salad sandwiches. I have this weird little hard boiled egg maker. I guess I which I got and I think it's really kind of funny. Yo Ryan Ruger, what is up? I am making a British high tea. I have my petite four cake in the oven. I got my scones resting. I'm making my eggs for some egg salad sandwiches. I've got some butter infused with Yorkshire gold tea. For shortbread tea, shortbread cookies. How are you doing on this fine day? Um, I'm poking holes in the egg so that they don't explode. There we go. Glad to hear you're doing well. <laughs> this egg maker? Okay, so I bought it like on a super random whim because it was like as a scene on TV and I hate boiling eggs. Um, it's so weird. I don't know, but it works. Oh, I gotta turn it. I gotta plug it in. When you plug it in, it works. It just like makes hard boiled egg. Like I, I get hard boiled eggs aren't hard to make. But I don't know. It's like this cool little thing. I like it. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is egg cook. Oh, do you have one of these things, God hand? I don't know, they're so weird. It's only cooked eggs. Um, only eggs. That's it. And you can make it soft, medium, or hard boiled. Yes, they're very nice. Every time you use them, it's you get the same, same amount of time, same eggs. You don't have to worry about boiling water on the stove. <laughs> Your mom had one. Nice. All right, I'm going to get my biscuit cutters. I'm gonna roll up my scones. I'm gonna make round scones today because we are classic and British today. So if I can find my round biscuit cutters, which are somewhere. Um, yeah. Oh, knocking things over. It's fine. Um, here they are. I guess I could make them in the shape of a llama. But no, we are British today. We don't need llama shaped scones. Okay, so I need one that is approximately three. So your palm is about three. Um, I can make it this slightly smaller. Doing small scones because this is a high tea. Everything should be cute and everything should be small. You can put a tiny bit of flour out. Um, keep the scones from sticking. I'm gonna roll them out to about uh, two and a half centimeters thick. And I'm going to cut them and then I'm gonna stick them on a baking tray and let them rest for about 20 minutes before putting them in the oven. Let me get out a baking tray. This 
one will do. I'm going to put a parchment paper down. Um, if anyone new's in chat, hanging out, glad to have you here. I like to do baking streams. I try to do like a showstopper um, Canadian Bake Show or Great British Baking Show challenge every Sunday and then a random baking stream at some other point during the week. Um, Hello. If anyone wants to drop a follow, I think I'm at 49 followers right now. Yes. So close. So close to affiliate status. Very close to the 50 follower. The crazy 50 follower. <laughs> the, uh, the mark. Mark, yeah. yeah. It's rough getting to that. It is. All right. So I have this beautiful black currant scone recipe Ooh, that looks good. from Buckingham Palace. From Buckingham Palace from itself? From Buckingham Palace itself. There's nothing more British than that. There, It's on their website. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, no, it's a personal. very special personal recipe the Queen sent me. Yes. Yeah, your personal friends. Yes, my course. personal friends at Buckingham Palace. Not their publicly available website. Um, for sure. Gosh, that'd be lame. That would be lame. But don't worry, I know that you're friends with the Queen. I am, totally. She's like, you're my favorite American Canadian. And I was like, thanks. That means a lot. Mostly American, though. Yes. Not even a permanent resident yet. <gasps> For shame. Gosh, like, putting Canadian <laughs> at all seems incorrect, almost. <laughs> I want a royal scone. Yes. It's royal scone. Scones. Look how, like, this looks British to me. <laughs> it looks like dough with currants in it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's but what it currently is. Once it's baked into scones, it'll look very British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So just try to flatten this out. Um, I like a nice thick scone. I'm going to make some mock clotted cream for it. Um, I forgot to look for it at the store. But that's okay. We'll make it ourselves. And it'll be delicious. That made a noise. Yeah. This, <laughs> this <laughs> dough is very... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it makes a noise when <laughs> when she presses down. Oh, that one did. I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's a, I'm making an airtight seal. Look at these cute little scones. Oh, so cute. So awesome. That's a really clean one right there. <laughs> it does. It makes like a farting noise. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> but with their cute emotes. I feel like the cookie cutters just, they make them so round and cute. Well, that's, high tea is supposed to be cute. Get your little tiny cakes and your little tiny scones. I might not have grabbed a big enough baking tray. It's okay. These shouldn't puff up huge. They do have a lot of baking powder. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to transfer them to a bigger tray. Can you grab the other gold tray out of there? I'll just transfer the baking sheet and everything. The other tray like this? Yep. Okay. Slide <laughs> them under. <laughs> that did not work at all. I got one of them. Okay. It's off camera, so. No one can see how poorly that. The parchment paper is still a little small, though. Yeah. But see, I can make them three by three. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, what happened was. What you see. When yeah. dragging the parchment paper to the other one, <laughs> the, the, paper, the paper went, but the scones <laughs> didn't make it. Was it was the opposite of what I wanted. Because they're so heavy. They are dense. And they weren't sticking to the paper, which makes sense. Why would they? Yeah, they're just waxed. Yeah. <laughs> These are going to be delicious. And if they're not, they're going to look delicious. So we can just lie about it. I 
I don't think you've made anything that isn't delicious ever, though. So, Aww. don't think a lot of lying will have to happen here. <laughs> I'm trying to make smaller recipes so you don't have to eat all of them. Ooh, the egg cooker's steaming. I know. Such Ooh, a man. weird egg cooker. All right, I think I can get one more. These are so cute. Um, and the recipe is really easy to make. So I think everyone watching should make some royal British scones. You can either get the recipe from my um, Discord. I think I posted it there. I posted it on my Instagram. Um, but if you don't follow, you can just go to the Buckingham Palace website. And uh, they're called Queen's Fruit Scones. So you can just print off their recipe and follow it. They do call for sultans, and I use currants, but it does say that you can use sultans or currants. So, there we go. So cute. So these need to rest for about 20 minutes. And then they will go in my oven. Super cute scones. So, let me kind of clean this area off a little bit. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do next is probably make my savory muffins. Um, I'm doing really good on time, actually. I'm doing real good on time. So savory muffins are going to come up. These are because you need savory along with your sweets in order for your high tea to, you know, be a, be a proper high tea. Um, so what I'm going to make is actually a butter, garlic and cheese. I'm using a mix of Gouda and cheddar cheese. Um, and this should just make some delicious little cheesy bites. Um, I'm calling them muffins because I'm baking them in a muffin pan, but they're not real muffins. I mean, muffin to me is like something sweet. These are not going to be sweet. They're going to be quite savory. Um, yeah, Gouda is so good. Uh, Newt also loves Gouda button. Um, it's like one of his favorite things. So we got ourselves a fancy aged gouda cheese i was showing the wrong side focus camera focus it's trying its best okay how about this camera this one will focus aged gouda cheese fromage gouda epini so fancy and then i have a Kerrygold dubliner um 200 grams i need 200 grams in total so i'm going to do half and half 100 grams of this, 100 grams of this. It will be delicious. Um, I mean, how could it not? It's, it's good at cheese. It's some good at cheese. And I need this. Yes. Okay. Um, so, what I am going to do. Germans like to put Gouda on pizza. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how I would like it on pizza, actually, because it's kind of a strong flavor. I mean, it's a good flavor, like, but it's a bit strong for pizza. That's all. Um, I think I'm going to trim this, actually. Let me grab a cutting board. It smells like boiled eggs in here. Huh. Alright. So you need about 100 grams. You need some extra for Newt to eat. He loves Gouda. Get this off. Just kind of trim. I don't know. I don't like the like super hard edge. So I just trim it off. Even though technically it's fine cheese. But, yeah. 
I just think it tastes a little strange. All right, so I'm doing 100 grams of Gouda. That is three, that is three grams. Gouda. Super good smoked Gouda mac and cheese. Oh, I love smoked Gouda mac and cheese. Yeah, my um, university where I did grad school, there was a restaurant which had amazing mac and cheese, but it was super expensive. But it was so good. Okay, how much was this? How many grams was this? Net weight. 120, 172 grams. Okay. So I do need about half. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Gouda, gouda, gouda. It looks so nice, like all shaved. Um, so you could do like store bought shredded cheese. The problem with using store bought shredded cheese in a lot of recipes um, is there's not enough moisture. So fresh grated cheese has a lot more moisture oh, than store bought <laughs> grated cheese. Um, so if you use store-bought grated cheese, you might have to add a little water or a little milk to your recipe to get the ratios right. Which isn't, it's not the end of the world, it's just like something to keep in mind. Because it would certainly be a lot easier if I just bought shredded cheese. I'm at 60 grams. Come on, Gouda. Some Gouda cheese. Which I've already used that phrase. Oh. Seventy grams. I don't have to go to the gym when I shred cheese. Eighty grams. I gotta trim some of this. Okay, all right, all right. We're getting close. We're at 85 grams. Ah, I do remove the skin before grating. Um, I just only removed the lower half. So now I have to remove the upper half. I was hoping I wouldn't get to the entire, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to grate so much of it. So yeah, I removed this. I removed the skin, um, just only on the lower portion. Now that I'm at the upper portion, let's remove it again. Yeah, my eggs are done. Okay, I'm at a hundred grams. All right. Not very much gouda left. Should be about 72 grams left. Whew. Okay, this, I gotta turn on my light in my oven, make sure. Okay, cake still needs a little more time. Okay. 
Jeez. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Bring some of this home. Okay. Um. Time for cheddar. You want some Gouda, Newt? There's like a chunk of Gouda if you just want to eat it. Okay, time for Dubliner. I should be about half of this block. This block is 200 grams. So. You want some Gouda? just this block left. I don't know if I want that much Gouda. <laughs> you said it was a Gouda idea. That's not a Gouda idea. Okay, I'll take like a piece, a chunk. That's a big chunk. <laughs> All right. I'm going to eat it over the sink like an animal. You are a human uh, uh, animal. Not, not, in the, uh, not in view of the camera. That'd be, that'd be awkward. Yeah, Newt doesn't like to eat. Um, in front of the camera, and since he streams so much, I'm eating over a sink. <laughs> it's kind of hard for him to uh, eat during the day. So this is a harder cheese than gouda, so it's actually easier to sh to grate. It's a streamer diet. Just stream twelve hours a day and don't eat. No, it's a good diet. It's a pretty terrible diet. Very healthy. <laughs> it's the most unhealthy diet anyone could ever have. Just call it intermittent fasting and suddenly everyone will be proud of you. That's actually true. <laughs> They'll be like, ooh, you intermittent fast? That's so cool. Yeah, I'm actually intermittent fasting. I, I eat one tiny meal at 6 a.m. and then I don't eat again until <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> They're going to think you have an eating disorder. Mm hmm? That's fair. Super st skinny streamer on intermittent fasting diet. Whew. Yeah, I'd like to keep my weight. This is hard. Like, I feel like my deltoids are getting in on it. Yeah. Do you like a bit of Dublin or cheddar? Okay, we're at 90. We're at 90. We're gonna make it. The final lap in the race. Oh, oh boy. Okay, cheese is grated. Oh, that's done. All right, cake is still going. This gets in here. All right. I got cheese everywhere. Just everywhere. Let me try to clean slightly because I, I don't want cheese everywhere. Um, here we go. Just 
sort of. I think I got some cheese in my flour bag. Um, I gotta put a bowl in the sink with some ice water and I gotta throw these eggs in it so that they will cool down enough for me to shell. So let's do that. Um, let's see. I think I've got a nice big bowl over here I can use. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that almost fell over. This will work. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just do a half recipe of the um, eggs because I don't need a huge recipe of eggs. Like, Newt can't eat that many egg salad sandwiches. I have mini ice trays. This is not very good, not very cold. Ah, my ice trays are mini. Okay. Back in the freezer. Oh, I'm gonna spill it. Oh, oh no. Okay, <laughs> eggs in the cold. The cheese is for my savory cheese muffins. Um, ouch. So, ouch. Oh, um, <laughs> they are. Uh, I'm gonna make muffins, cheese muffins. So it's a mix of Gouda and Dubliner cheddar. Wait, why is this on me? No. That smells terrible. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yelling at my egg machine. Okay. Eggs are chilling because I'm going to make some egg salad sandwiches. Um, savory cheese muffins. So I've got my cheese. Next up, I'm just going to melt my butter and garlic together. I'm going to brush some of the butter garlic in my muffin tins. Um, then I'm going to combine my dry ingredients and my wet, and then I'm going to add in my cheese. So I might actually pour my cheese into this bowl because it's a little tight if I do my wet and my dry in that small bowl. I've got some sour cream. I'm going to put some parsley in here. Because if you're doing a high tea, you need a savory to go with your sweet. So this is going to be my main savory element. Okay, butter time. All right, I'm going to take a clove of garlic. I am going to put that clove of garlic through a strainer thingy. Check on my cake. It's still baking. Um, okay, I've got chives, I've got parse, baby dill, Here's my first thing. Got parsley. All right, let's get my 50 grams of butter. move my egg machine because that's done so that'll free up some space which will be nice all right um garlic garlic press Let's 
some nice garlic going. Um, So I, I had been just like cutting garlic, but I finally gave up and bought a garlic press and it is so much nicer having a garlic press. All right. So Half of the garlic is going into the batter, half of the garlic is going to go into the butter. Let's just smash it all through. Oh, okay. Plenty of garlic. Yeah. Put this in the trash so I don't get garlic everywhere. Let me keep checking on my cake. Not quite golden brown yet. Um, my oven does take a little longer. It's not. It's not the best of ovens. If I'm being honest. All right. I need about 50 grams. That's 30. That's 42, 55, I'll, I'll take it. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna put half of this in with my butter. Half of this is going in here. I'm gonna kinda cut up the butter. I'm gonna stick this in a microwave to melt um, for like 30 seconds. Should be good. I think garlic is amazing. Yeah, so the recipe, yeah, I, I usually go overboard on garlic. Ugh. Like any, if it calls for one clove, I'm like double that automatically. Um, Cause it's delicious. Just love it. Plus, I don't feel like garlic, like, there's really no, no such thing as too much garlic. Alright, so I'm doing a cup of buttermilk, because I love buttermilk, and I bought buttermilk. I'm going to use it in everything. Yeah, I love the smell of just like you cook the garlic in the oil before you make the sauce. It's so good. Oh, this smells like garlic butter because it is garlic butter and it's amazing. All right. I'm going with some flour now. So I'm doing 300 grams of flour. The problem with baking strings is no one can smell the food. Three hundred grams, but it smells good. It's, I mean, it's just freshly fresh garlic with some butter. And I'm gonna stick it on muffins, cheesy muffins. This is going to be savory and delicious. So there's my flour. Dump, dump, dump. Okay, I need baking powder. Oh, I need baking soda too this time. All right. 
Well, you can smell the food, but you're cheating. You also can taste the food. Just cheating all around. All right. Um, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, I think my cake almost needs to come out. Um, half teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. A half teaspoon of salt. my salt there all right milk egg sour cream and vegetable oil i need to chop up some parsley as well so i'm going to combine my wet ingredients in here i'm going to put one egg in there 60 grams of sour cream um, but i'm actually going to use greek yogurt and i'm going to trade off in the oven so I'm going to take out my cake and I'm going to put in my scones. And I think the scones are going to, yeah, they are going to bake. Oh, hang on. I need to make an egg wash for my scones. Okay. Ah, hot. Ouch. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, heavy. All right. Oof. Ah, that's pretty perfect. Okay. So I'm going to let this rest. It is fluffy. Um, I need to make an egg wash for my scones. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? wash is just an egg um, you can either add milk or water to it if you want but you just kind of stick an egg in a container super easy barely an inconvenience scone I've used a lot of eggs today So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water, like a half tablespoon or so. Um, then I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to brush it onto my scones. This is just going to be my egg wash and it will make the scones, make sure they're nice and golden. Um, they're only going to have to be in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and then they're going to have to cool. Um, so I'm going to fill them with some strawberry jam and some Devonshire cream that I'm going to make. You guys can see it. And I'm just going to brush the tops with some egg wash.
This one's not perfectly flat. That's okay. Then these will go in the oven. And by the time I've finished my savory muffins, these should be ready to come out and I can trade those in. So I'm trying to be really efficient on time because you know the challenges in the Great British Baking Show is to finish everything within a set period of time. Um, and I want to make sure I save enough time to let things cool and decorate. I'm going to try to do some pretty buttercream flowers on my petite fours. Um, going to try to make some really nice cream to fill these scones. Oh, that just kind of falling apart. Um, I'm not quite sure how I want to do the savory muffins. I might grate a little bit of cheese on top and like put some little um, parsley just to make those pretty. Just to, uh, the, you know, the finishing decorative cut touches. I want to make sure I have time for. And I want to do those. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm at home. I have all the time in the world, but I want to see how much I can do in the time limitations. Brushing on my egg wash. For my British scones. And my little tiny one at the end. All right. Egg wash is done. These are going in the oven. Let's see. All right. Let's finish this up. I need one third cup of vegetable oil. So. Based on this, if I fill it up to the two-thirds mark, that will be one-third addition. So I'm at my dry, and now I am making my wet. Vegetable oil has been added. And sour cream. Um, let's see what I have in here. That will do. So I've got to do my sour cream, 60 grams. I guess I'll do it in a small bowl. At this point, I'm kind of running out of small bowls. How many small bowls can one kitchen have? Oh. Yes. Lightheadedness. Huh. I thought you didn't eat. Oh, you did eat breakfast. I did eat. I guess it's lunchtime. Not that hungry. Hmm. 
Alright. My sour cream goes back in the fridge. Is there supposed to be just like a bowl of cheese over here? <laughs> yes. It's just sitting that on top just, of that. That's butter. It's, oh, it's butter. It is butter. Ooh. Are you, More in the steak. Are you judging me? No, no, no. Do you not know the difference between cheese and butter? Okay, I got it. They're both dairy. One is churned and the other is... Yeah. Yeah. Fermented. Pretty much, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, like, specifically. I've been to the Tillamook Cheese Factory. Yeah, you have. <laughs> so, I should know. All right. And they got to add some chopped parsley. Now, what do they do special in cheese curds? Uh, that's from the way. And it's no down. way. No way. Italian parsley. I just gotta dry up my parsley so it doesn't change my ratio of liquids. Um, and I'm just gonna pick off the leaves. Obviously, I'm not gonna do all of these, but I just want some like parsley flavor into my, and also some of the color. It'll be quite nice. So you can do anything you want in these savory muffins. Um, you can put some sun-dried tomatoes. You can get, put some fried up sausage in it. You can put up a bunch of fried vegetables. You can make like a whole brunchy feel. Whatever you're into. a lot of flexibility when you're doing a savory dish. Um, also they're very forgiving because the texture of muffins can be a wide variety. So do whatever makes you happy. Try out different things. Should be about enough. Um, and then I'll use a bunch of parsley to like decorate at the end. Some cute little parsley's lying around. Just gonna move it over here. Hmm. Cleaned up my scale. How nice. All right. Um, I should probably get a real knife. Okay. So I'm just gonna chop this up. Choppy, choppy. Um, just really rough chopping. If I had a little food chopper, I could throw it in there. That would work pretty well. Um, I don't, though. I don't have one of those. So. You know, like the little baby food maker? That slap chop? I don't even know if that thing worked. Parsley, garlic, and butter. Oh, yeah. Garlic bread is so good. Uh, the little local store by me sells garlic bread, and I keep buying it, and then just reheating it in my oven, and it's so good. Newton and I will eat a whole loaf. So good. And this uh, garlic butter smells delicious, so. All right. This should be good. I'm going to throw this in. 
and start mixing things. Parsley all over me. All right. Nice. Throw that in. Get that off my hands. Check the oven. Oh, my scones are rising. They look cute. Okay. Um, stir this up a little bit. This. Just gonna go in here. What happened there? That was thick. Oh, sour cream. That's right. All right. So, let's mix this all up. These are my muffins. I am not bluffing with my muffins. These are going to be delicious. It's butter. It's garlic. How can it not be? Oh, I'm getting flour everywhere. I'm making messes. All right, so delicious and easy. Muffins are so easy to make. That's why I kind of wanted that as my savory because it's a very fast thing I could make while I was waiting for petite four cake to cool down. Um, so like, I feel like when you're doing something like this and you have a time crunch, you want to make sure not everything has like a two hour incubation or something. You got to time out everything. All right, so what I'm gonna do is knock this flour off of my book. I'm going to grab a muffin tray. I'm gonna dust it, I'm gonna paint it with some garlic butter. Um, and then I'm gonna add a drop of this to each one and then I'm gonna paint the top again with garlic butter. cleaned in the dishwasher. That's okay. Just giving it a once over. So you're just going to put a very small amount of butter and garlic in the bottom because I, oh, I forgot to stick my cheese in. Oh man, how could I do this? Oh, that would have been a nightmare. No cheese in my cheese muffins. Oh man. Let me fix that. I'm like, why do I have a giant bowl of cheese? Right. This is why I have a giant bowl of cheese. Oh yeah. That's gonna be good. They would have just been garlic. They probably still would have been good actually. Because garlic is good, but yeah, I I want the cheese. I spent all that effort shredding the cheese. Oh man, that would have been so sad. I would have been like, oh. Oh, my scones aren't rising perfectly even. That's okay. Wow, cheese really folds in well. Oh, it smells good. It smells so good. So the garlic and gouda. Plus this recipe is super easy to make, so try it at home. All right, um, I'm just gonna use a different brush I have because I don't want to get raw egg mixed in with my garlic butter. I feel like that'd be kind of gross. All right. 
Let's do this. Don't want that much on the bottom. It's just kind of to make it not stick. I definitely don't want to repeat where my bacon grease burned the bottom of my oven and set off fire alarms. So I'm just doing a little bit. Just a little bit. Just... And I will of course brush the top again um, when it comes out of the oven actually. I will brush the top. Just a nice buttered garlic infusion. Oh, Brazilian steakhouse. I think you can totally, like, do you guys have like a Fogo de Chao or something button in Florida? I went to one of those once in DC, it was so good. We have a couple different Brazilian steakhouses here. Um, and I love Brazilian steakhouse. The Brazilian cheese bread is so good. I've, I've tried to make Brazilian cheese bread before. Oh, actually though, Button, um, there's, I don't know if you'll have it where you live, but in our freezer section of the grocery store, they sell Brazilian cheese bread. Um, it's frozen and you cook it in the oven. It's really good. It's just about as good as fresh, like Texas de Brill. Texas de Brazil. Interesting. Okay. One. Uh, two. I might have to steal some. Three. One of the boys is going to be a little small. very spongy. I hope it tastes delicious. I'm going to stick it on top of um, another baking tray just in case the butter decides to leak because I do not want that oven panic again. No thank you. Ooh, running out of space. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Um, it's it's just in the frozen section. Actually, Costco has it. Um, Brazilian frozen Brazilian cheese bread. Costco was carrying it, so. But like, I know Costco West Coast is different than Costco East Coast. But yeah, the recipe is is not so bad. I've tried. I've made Brazilian cheese bread once. Um, it you just need the right flour. And it works out. But if you don't, if you can't buy the right flour, you can't make it. Right. So, the only thing left to make is my frostings and my little tea sandwiches, which are only going to take about 15 minutes, and my shortbread cookies, which I'm letting that rest. Um, so I will make them at the very end after I pull out all of this. So let me make some space. Um, let's see, what do I need? I need a bigger kitchen. Exactly. Oh, you can actually, um, you can check out their website, Costco's website. If they have it, it'll be on their website. Cause you can get like Costco Instacart delivery and stuff. So you don't have to make a trip in. Actually, yeah, so I went to Epcot and Disney, and Disney had really good food. 
Like the, um, I went to a steakhouse in their safari land. Um, it was like an African steakhouse and it had really good flavors, really good steak. So let me, where am I? Scones need to cool. Uh, cheese muffins just need to bake. Then I just need to make shortbread and then I'll make the tea sandwiches. So I guess it's petite four time. Different, probably, I don't know. It's like, it's African themed and I just remember like, it was delicious. All right, here's my cake. You can see it rose really nice. Golden brown on the edges. Whoops, soft, it springs back. This is a proper sheet cake. Ugh, why are my scones not done yet? All right. So let me try to figure out the directions. So I need to make buttercream. Oh, this is still a little warm. It's got to cool down completely. Okay. Cut the cake into two rectangles. Cut each down the middle with a serrated knife. Open the cake and spread a thin layer of buttercream on one half and a very thin layer of raspberry jam on the other, or lemon curd. So I got lemon curd. I'm going to do half raspberry, half lemon. Uh, sandwich the cake layers together. So you have a two layer cakes with raspberry jam and buttercream in the middle. Place on a baking sheet, then freeze for about 30 minutes. Cut the edges of the frozen cake, then cut into one and a half to 1.5 inch cubes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I get this, okay. I'm gonna stick this in my freezer then, um, so it'll be easier to cut. I think it'll fit, we'll see. That is not gonna fit. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna, and then I'll put each individual half in the freezer. Um, okay, let's let's do this. This is my baking challenge because I have never made anything quite this complicated before. So why do I have water everywhere? Ugh. Okay. So about here. It's a very fluffy cake. I am looking forward to eating this cake. I mean, the batter was delicious, so. Um, grab another parchment paper. Okay, my stones are just about done. So what I'm going to do, pull this out, oh, very gently, very, very gently, oh boy. This is a delicate cake. I didn't think it was quite so delicate. All right, so I'm going to, going to put the whole thing in my freezer actually. Okay. Um, let me put it in a smaller tray that'll actually fit in my freezer. Okay, so be very careful. This is delicate. And that's going in the freezer. A little easier to handle. Um, I'll put this over here. Okay. 
All right, scones are coming out, muffins are going in. All right, I will show you guys what these scones look like. Good. Ooh, so the ones I overworked kind of fell apart, um, but that's because, so you probably want to roll it out in a way where you don't have to recombine the dough, but you can see they are very pretty. I'm going to let them rest, um, and then I'll fill them with jam and clotted cream. So, all right. I gotta make some buttercream for my petite fours. Buttercream is is just wow. Why is there so much water everywhere? Butter and and um yeah, butter, sugar, vanilla, cream. So. I'm gonna make a little extra buttercream because I wanna try decorating. Um, so I need one cup of butter. So I'll just cut this one. And I'm mostly, I'm most of the way to a high tea. Which is good, it's been like, Two hours and 20 minutes so it should be most of the way to the high tea um, there we go cup of butter ish it's hard to tell in a giant block i could wait out but this is buttercream we just do our best here. Okay. So I'm going to combine this. Um, Sugar, vanilla, a little bit of salt. Don't mind me. Okay. So, I need my sugar. Confectioner sugar. I'm gonna really let everything cool before I mess with it. Um, Cause letting everything cool, I think, is going to be essential to getting good decorations. Okay, um, let me grab some water. I need to drink some water. All right, so I'm just going to make my sugar frosting. Butter, vanilla, milk. I hope I have enough sugar. I should. Um, okay. Let's get started. So this is going to cream. I'm actually going to use a different whip on my mixer. Um, I want it very fluffy. 
So I'm going to use this uh, whip instead of the beater. So I was going to whip in the butter, um, then I just need to, I will add my sugar, I'm doing four cups of sugar, uh, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm just going to add in my vanilla right now. Get the butter properly creamed with the vanilla. And then I'll start adding my sugar to it. Um, need to put in a little salt. And I need three tablespoons of milk or cream. Start adding my sugar that is properly whipped. Um, I need a cup. Where's my cup measurement? Sits in the cup. All right, we're doing things a half cup at a time. Let's see if I can count. smooth before I add the rest of the sugar. Um, it's not hard to make buttercream. This is American buttercream. Super easy to make. So that's two. Time for two and a half. Alright, 
that's going to mix up. Um, I'm going to wait for my cake to cool down. Um, I will put the buttercream, the jam. Um, yeah, see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. shortbread cookies. This will be the last thing that's baked because um, they'll also need to be cool. And then everything else I'll do will be decorating or like making those little tea sandwiches. But super easy. De uh, bench top doesn't need oven. fluffy buttercream frosting. I'm going to put it into a bowl so that I can use this mixer again. Luckily I have all these bowls. So this buttercream is going to go, let's see, is it too thick? No, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, you kind of want a thinner buttercream because it's going to um, it's it's you don't want to like your cake is so soft so I might want to add a little more milk just thin this frosting slightly actually because um, I'm afraid that the cake will kind of get like pulled a little it's a very delicate cake so yeah I'm gonna add a little more milk um, the frosting's a little thick. It's delicious, but it's thick. Let me scrape this down because I feel like this is a uh, not going so well. All right, let me scrape it down. Oh, my muffins are rising. All right, um, scrape down buttercream frosting. Ugh, it is too thick. It's a thick boy. then make my shortbread cookies and be done baking for the bake and start on the hard part. Okay, so you should be able to see that consistency change. Now it's more like a a soft whipped cream almost. Um, I just wanted it to be thinner so I could spread it on my cake without damaging the cake. So I just added extra milk to the recipe. Um, gonna have to use this 
again to make clotted cream. Or my scones. Uh, sometimes you just have to use your hands. Okay, get all of this off. Butter and sugar, all the goodness, all the time. All right. Tastes good. That tastes like diabetes feels. Oh man, the muffins smell good. Okay. So I'm putting my frosting in a bowl. Now I'm going to have to wash out this so that I can make my shortbread cookies in it. This is a lot of sugar in this bowl, so I probably, I mean, I'll just rinse it. Soft and fluffy. Buttercream. Nice light. I didn't Thanks. mean to. Very helpful. It was an accident. Um, so what's uh what's all that? Uh, this is buttercream frosting. Oh, that's it's a lot. No, so you I, just spoon it into your mouth. Diabetes. Yeah, that's what about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it. No, no. All right, that is some beautiful frosting. Look how fluffy it is. That's very oh, awesome. <laughs> diabetes. I got the sugars. Um, okay, I, I don't have the sugars. All right, I'm going to make my last thing. Woo, shortbread time. Oh, muffins. Who doesn't love shortbread? Okay, so I'm gonna take tea infused butter. I'm gonna combine it with a half cup of confectioner sugar, some salt and some flour. And this is going to be shortbread cookies. There we go. So I started my tea infused butter two and a half hours ago. It's supposed to sit for at least two hours. So I did it. Um, half cup of confectioner sugar mixed in. I want all of this butter. Where did I put my half cup? Um, I might need more sugar. It's okay. I will put less sugar in my recipe to set a call for it if I run out. Okay, and I need two cups of flour. Um, oh man. You okay? Yeah. What are you thinking? Not a lot going on in my head right now. One cup. One and a half cups. And two cups of flour. Half 
teaspoon of salt. All right, this is gonna be delicious. Shortbread dough. It smells like Earl Grey tea. Actually, it smells like Yorkshire gold. Which is similar. All right, let me put it into some parchment and some. Oh, can't reach. Okay. I'm going to put it into some cling wrap. Um, Press it all together. Make sure my muffins aren't burning. They smell so good. Um, okay, I kind of have to dry this area off. Ah, it's the bottom of my bowl that's damp. All right, that's what I get for cleaning. All right. Um, so shortbread dough is really hard to work with at first. And if you overwork it, um, it gets all hard. It's not as good. So got to be a little careful with it. So I'm going to dump it onto this uh, cling wrap. I'm going to wrap it up, make it into a nice block. Then I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to cut it into shapes and I'm going to bake it. Okay. So crumbs. Very crummy. It should hold together though. Okay. So you have to like change the ratio of butter to flour depending on the quality of your butter. I didn't use a very high quality butter so I had to add more moisture in. 
Um, so I had to add the buttermilk. Should still taste good. Okay. So let's just sort of pull this up. You can really see the uh, the tea leaves. I can read its future in the tea leaves. It will be delicious. So, all right. I'm making a nice dough ball of shortbread. Um, okay, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna have to prep a baking tray. So it's sort of cracking a little. Um, has the concern, of course, with the shortbread, it will crack. Um, so let me, let me prep a nice baking tray for this to go on. Oh, oh man. Okay. Let's hope this high tea can be decorated in a nice hour. I've got an hour save for decoration. I'm making great time. Everything smells really good. I haven't had a complete disaster yet, so always benefit. This looks good. I'm happy with that thickness. Um, let me kind of rinse off my hands. So I'm going to make a baking tray. Um, I can actually use the ones the scones are on. That's fine. Look at my scones. Beautiful. Um, I'm just going to stick them over there for now. I've got a little tea tray um, that I will have to decorate and set up. For now, it has scones on it. Very cute scones. If you want a scone, you can eat one. Eat an ugly one, though. Like like this one. Eat this ugly one. It's on top. Okay. I'm going to do this. This will work. The newt taste. Newt, come taste test. Um, I think it's got oil on it. I'll just do new parchment paper. Yeah, take the little tiny one on top. Yeah, come do a taste test over here. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I'm holding a scone with currants. Yes, you are. And I'm going to taste it. Let's, uh, Break it in half. Very nice looking. All right. Does it taste like a scone? Mm, that's very nice. How would you describe it? Scone like? Mm. You've been to, you were in Britain for a while. I don't actually know, like, yeah, but I don't actually know, like, what the consistency of a scone is supposed to be. This is, like, the outside is a bit, I guess, crispy, and the inside's kind of chewy. I think that's what a scone's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, like, a soft biscuit. It's really fresh, and, yeah, soft biscuit, okay, yeah, yeah. That's basically this. The currants are nice. I mean, I think it's really good. You want to try some? Okay. Mm. It is good. A 
it's not a lot of flavor. Like the sweetness is mostly from the currants. Um, I think that's why you cut it in half and you put jam and oh yeah cream yeah. And I stuff. mean, if you really wanted to like enhance the flavor, you could do that. But I think that that's the, very good though. I like it. Like I'm I'm not someone who needs a lot of flavor to enjoy something, and this is like just an absolutely um, it's pretty delectable. Yeah, it's a brilliant texture. It's very, very pleasant. It's very soft. I see why the queen insists upon them. Mm -hmm. mm, it's really good. It's real good. I have to be careful with these. They're really cute looking. I would eat several of them, but that's a lot of carbs. <laughs> We have to save room for the high tea because we're going to sit here and we're going to eat high tea. Okay. And we're going to chat with people. Because that's what the British do. Hmm? That's why I had to get this done early enough that we could have some nice black tea with it. These cookies are super cute. They're not baked yet, but they've got like tea in them. Um, I think they're going to be really good. I'm excited for this butter infused method. I think I'm going to use it all the time. I'm going to infuse butter and I'm going to make all sorts of stuff. And my um, savories are almost done. They're almost ready to come out. So, just a few more cookies. Um, these shouldn't rise very much, so I can probably fit a few extra on here by scooching them around. Um, Shortbread doesn't really rise. There, I mean, there's what's gonna rise, right? Like, there's no no rising agents. Okay, so let's recombine this. Recombine everything and I'll roll it out and make a few more cookies. So, the more you work shortbread dough, the easier it is to work with, um, but also you risk the texture going off. All right, I'm just I'm trying to wait for that to be the right, like the right golden. Um, I have a tendency to take things out a little early, so. Because I fear the fire alarm. Okay. Yes, I, I could use a rolling pin, um, but. So I keep the edges sharp by pressing it off with my hand. Um, I'm trying to keep it nice and even. Okay, let's see how many cookies I can fit. I can definitely do four by four on here. Okay, should be good. Oh, the muffins in the oven are making me hungry. Oh, we got four out of that. Okay. Um, this is. The last baking now, and then decoration time. I'm excited to see how the petite fours turn out. I mean, they're so fancy. Like, these little cookies are so fancy. Like, that's why high tea is fun, because it's like pretending to be a fancy, rich British person. Without the inbreeding. Let's see. I 
few more. Um, I can fit two more cookies, really. I'm trying to keep them similar consistency and size. Oh, come on. Come on. If you didn't have one of these, it would have been really hard. Button <laughs> lolling at my burn on the British people. Uh, the British are fine. Just don't tell, don't tell the Irish relatives I said that. Uh, all right. And our cookies are done. I can't really fit these. I'll just make little tiny dots, I guess. Um, much love to my Brits. Exactly. Love to my Brits. You guys are fine. Your queen did marry a lot of cousins, but that's like true of every royalty. It's not just British. Certainly not just British. We're all just jealous. My husband is Newt. Um, he sometimes comes in stream. Newt, come say hi. <clears throat> yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Say hi to Hanana. Hanana. Yeah, hello, Hanana. <laughs> Hello. Okay, gotta take this out of the oven. Watch out your butt. Don't get in the way. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> These look pretty. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to them. I was an Uber stream a lot. Yes, yes. I kind of, I kind of miss Uber streams because. I know. Where's Uber? I don't know, but. <laughs> there aren't very many people who stream, you know, weekday mornings. <laughs> I know. Uber was so... great before going to work. All right. These are going in the oven. Um... So I missed that. Wait, I thought you said you saw the Uber yesterday in someone's chat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, good. That's good. My butter has solidified. I'm gonna put it back in the microwave. Yeah, I saw I saw Uber and Anthulos' stream. Like, where has he been? I'm sure he's doing stuff. I'm sure he is. He's probably living life. <laughs> probably going, going outside. Things, <laughs> going outside, having family dinners. Yeah. Oh, going on vacation. Hope he's all right, though. I hope he's doing well. Yeah, Uber's like the one who connected all these different people. The Uber cult. The Uber cult. Oh man, my muffin smells so good. I actually met dupes first, but then I met Uber through dupes. Yeah. And then I met a bunch of people through Uber. Oh yeah, dupes is supposedly at a wedding or something. Yeah, dupes is outside living life. Oh. oh man. Oh man. Streamer's not allowed to have a life. All right, you just crossed the three hour mark. All right, I have an hour left to deck. I'm done baking, thanks. Bakers, you have one, one hour, hour left. remaining. One hour remaining in your bake. <laughs> okay, so these are gonna get some garlic butter brushed on top while they're still hot. Ah, Caper. Oh yeah, Caper Cafe. I don't remember where I first saw Caper. I think Uber. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably through Uber. Ah, Reddit. I haven't joined a Reddit thread. I should probably join Reddit. Is there just like a small streamer Reddit? Um, I haven't done any of that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I got kind of lucky because Ebsir knew dupes somehow. I don't know how Ebsir knew dupes. Oh yeah, now Ebsir follows you. Ebsir's pretty cool. Yeah, I found Ebsir first. So, okay, Bruno 
Bruno knew, well, no, Bruno randomly raided Ebsteer when he was playing Jump King. And so I kind of met Ebsteer because, like, Ebsteer sort of, like, became part of that community somehow. He was playing Jump King for the first time. And then Ebsteer was like, you should raid this guy, Colonel Dupes, one day. <laughs> I don't know how Ebsteer knew Dupes. That was random. I should join the little Reddit thread. But he did. <laughs> don't count on discoverability, yeah. A uh, Ren and Yes, She's oh, Horror, okay. yeah. I think I met her through Uber. I met her through Uber, too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Uber, Uber's the common connection. Mostly. I need all the butter and garlic on these. Yes. I just need one more follower. I gotta I gotta get one more follower. Okay, I'll go unfollow and refollow. No, that doesn't no no. <laughs> it'll work. It'll work, I promise. No. Twitch will glitch out and it'll be like, oh you have fifty now. And then it'll fix it. If I do it fast enough, I think. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, you gotta like okay. Okay, you're right. <laughs> also, if you unfollow and refollow, it resets your, your <laughs> right. follow age. Oh. So, like, it'll be like, oh, yeah, Newt's only been following for a minute. Sir Newt has not been following his own wife. What a jerk. Okay, Twitch doesn't know who's married. Oh, come on. Surely Twitch doesn't have analytics that good. True. I only want to get affiliate just so that I can do all of the fun things. It's not because I really care. It's just because having... The little buttons and stuff is nice. Your hubby to the rescue! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man. That's so friendly. But. Look at this. Look at this muffin. The follow. <laughs> oh! Thanks for the follow! I hope you are Buttons' husband. <laughs> hubby to the rescue! Thank you so much! That should be 50. Thank you, thank oh. you, yep. Yeah. High five? High, High five. five. Very, hey. very, very kind. Very Hi, kind. button hubby. Hubby Mash Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, his name should be Hubby Mash Beauty. A rated hey, RKJ. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for being my 50th. Maybe you guys can make these. They're so beautiful. Okay. They smell really good. Do you want to eat the ugly one? Do I want to eat the ugly? Sure, I'll eat. <laughs> I mean, you don't really need 12. I don't. The tray's very small, so. It's already crowded with the scum. I know. You call him Button Mash. Oh, Button Mash Beast. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that's better. That's better than Hubby Mash Beauty. But I'm sure All he's right. beautiful too. We've already held this up to the camera. I'm going to hold it up again. This is, quote unquote, the ugly one. It is ugly. It looks pretty good. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. It does look good. It's a savory, delicious muffin. What do you think? It's really, really, really good. I made it for you because those are all flavors you like. This is the kind of like muffin I really like. And the I crispy texture of it. Spe specifically, he I, would, is I don't very even beautiful. know if like the camera's <laughs> doing it justice, but it's like it's really crispy inside. Yeah, it should be golden on the outside, and then oh, yep. there we go. Oh, look at that cheese. And oh man, and the. The little the green parsley really makes it nice. You're a beautiful beast. Mm-hmm. Do you like new hair? I shaved it myself. Yeah, I don't know. I did I shaved it myself? It's so. It's like... wanna be professional. It's a wanna be Viking. I don't really care about hairstyles. Really, I just care about not having a lot of hair. I go like months without cutting it. <laughs> Normally, I just shave it all off, but and this then, time I tried. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm going to try some. I have no complaints. Oh, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. Ah. It's like the cheese bread. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really hot, but... Well, it's not super hot. I'm sensitive to heat when I eat foods, but this is not too hot. It tastes like a red lobster cheddar roll, mm -hmm. but... Better, because it's not like the red lobster rolls have like that heavy 
seasoning flavor. Yeah, I would actually compare it to those rolls. I would say that I like this better because my, my wife made it. <laughs> That's what you better say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you guys, you guys know, like, if you make something or someone you love made something, it automatically makes it better. Um, and that's definitely the case here. I, I honestly think this is at least as high quality as that. I'm yes. not I'm not lying about that. Like it really does taste very good. I'm not just saying that. I appreciate it. Like that. I could eat a dozen of these and be very, very pleased that I'm eating a dozen of these, you know what I mean? They're just, they they are really good. And I'm not really a foodie. He is not. This is true. Um, I kind of have to read this. All right. I'm starting the hard part. And as usual, like, and it was same with the scones for me. Like the best part of this isn't really the the burstling flavor, even though it does have really good flavor. But the flavor is more subtle. It's more like a very pleasant texture. It is. So you have like a crispy outside and a chewy, a chewy but very, um, not too chewy. Like, but the texture of the outside and the inside go really well together. I don't know. My words when describing food aren't very good. I'm not a food critic, but it's a very pleasant, uh, cheese muffin. And it was an easy recipe. Like I'm excited to eat another one, <laughs> but I'll, I'll wait for you to finish your presentation and pictures and everything. <laughs> the seafood diet. He sees food, he eats it. <laughs> Accurate. Mm -hmm. I did just see and eat food. I need to eat little more food, honestly. He's been losing weight. No, I really haven't. I've been uh, maintaining, okay, so like a few months ago I dropped like five pounds, but I've been maintaining since then. I've been maintaining okay. This is really hard. If I drop more than five more, I'm gonna be worried. I mean, you should be. That'd be a lot. Do I need to put this somewhere? Like that would be too, too much. Thank you for sharing that. That was delicious. You're welcome. I like them better than the scones, but like you know, you know why I like them better than the scones because they're like more what I enjoy. Well, that's why I made them. I specifically made that recipe for you. That is so sweet of you. You made an excellent choice, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Oh boy. Um, how am I gonna do this? This cake is so soft and fluffy, but that also means it's really fragile. Woo, I did it. All right, so one half gets buttercream and one half gets jam. With my red currant, I'm doing a nice raspberry red currant jam on one side, and I'm going to do the buttercream I made on the other. Um, move this out of the way. You mind, you mind if I show a button the shirt? No, of course not. Um, I feel like I feel like a really long time ago, button. We were talking about we were talking about Zelda shirts, and I don't remember if I ever showed this to you, but this is this is the Zelda shirt I own that I was talking about. So you can see it's like a Zelda 1 sprite from really far away. But if you bring it like a lot closer, you can see that's composed of like elements of the overworld. So it's a, it's a neat shirt. Um, it's probably the only cool video game shirt I own. 
I don't know. Do I own another cool oh, video game shirt? Oh, you just got the new hat that matches. Show yeah. The new oh, hat. yeah. I got a hat. I don't know. I posted it in, the, in my channel's Discord, but you might not have seen it. But this is a neat hat we found yesterday. Yes. And it's very topical because it's also Zelda one. It's got like a knit sprite of the Zelda one link holding up the Triforce piece. Well, I already brought the hat. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, right? I don't know. We had to pick it up. We had to pick it up. Yep. We went to a used video game store. The only thing we got was hats from Newt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were looking for whatever. It was cool, but... <laughs> And I got some fancy European cookbooks that I'm going to try. Okay, I might have to add some regular strawberry jam as well. So you want like a really thin coating of jam because you don't want it to like spooge out. If that's a word. He needs more hats. <laughs> He's got two more hats now. Um, he's got two more hats. Yeah, the other one. Ugh. Newt. Yes. Oh, you need to open a jar? <laughs> okay, yes. so the other one is a Mario-themed one. Careful. Yeah, so sorry, I don't want to get the jam in it. I will hold those up. Uh, yeah, I know, it's confusing, right? I don't know, it's just like Christmas-themed with a bullet bill and fire Mario's. But, yeah. It's okay. I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man. Ugh, I did I, it. I, no, I don't need no man. I, you close that jar right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I was uh, pretty bad about getting over here to close that jar. But, we do have the tools and technology. We do. Oh yeah, very Christmas vibes. It's like, oh, you like Christmas and you like video games? Well, boy, do we have the hat for you. True. Oh, I love opening new jam <laughs> jars. <laughs> it was a very satisfying. Yeah, pop. <laughs> also, the independent womanhood. Yes. Yes. I bought the little, like, jar opener, and now I can divorce Newt. Cause listen, listen. I can open jars. I'm, I'm not very <laughs> strong, so opening jars can be pretty hard for me, too. It's more like grip strength. Yeah, or something. right, right. Like, it's like it's it's actually not really raw strength either. It really is more like how well you can grip the top, and because like once you get good grip, which is what this tool gives you, right? Like yeah, you can it's open not it. Hard. It's not. Yeah. It's not like you need to to bench two hundred fifty pounds to open a jar. But imagine, imagine if you had to. So then the other cake I have, I'm gonna do lemon curd. Nice. And these are baking nice. I can't imagine that I'll like anything more than these cheese muffins, <laughs> but well, I have an open mind. You'll try them. <laughs> I have an open mind. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to try them. I mean, we'll have like a really fancy high tea. We can go out on the balcony. That would be so nice. I'm making good time with decorating too. Like I still have 45 minutes. <laughs> I do. I should make a make a clip of that, Newt. Yeah, he's he's doing it. So here's my nice soft fluffy buttercream. I hope these are going to be beautiful. Let's see how it goes. I've never made anything this fancy. And I'm so happy with how it's been turning out so far. This this tea is going well for me. It's been some quality baking. Trying to not overfill. Um, so I'm gonna stick it back in the freezer actually once I stack it. 
and then I will cut it into pieces um, and I will frost it again and then I will coat it with a white chocolate fondant I'm gonna make um, which is really easy to make so everything from here on out super easy to make super quick um, just decorating all right Maybe I want a little more. We like sugar. We like diabetes here. Okay. Let's push them real close together. Uh, the cheese muffins are so good, Button. Um, it's kind, it's, yeah, like Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Um, but without, I, I hate Old Bay seasoning. I absolutely hate it. So these are like the good version for me. Alright, and I'm going flip. Woo! Look at that, I did it! <laughs> Okay, that was beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, into the freezer. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna put it on it. I'm gonna be very gentle with it. It's a very soft. Newt, I need your help. Oh, hang on. I've, I've made poor decisions. Just maybe I'm an independent woman who don't need no man clothes. <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> okay, what, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? No, I, I got it. I, I can help. It's just that I did just put that. I know. I'm going to. I just. I had this in my hands and I needed to stick it on the tray, but I had something else on the tray. Uh, and then I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't do it. parchment paper because I need to do that foldy thing. Independent woman part two. How? <laughs> okay, it's not like I needed Newt. It's more like it was very helpful. Oh, that's the wrong cap. You can clip the you can clip the, the one where I need your help and call it part two. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not an independent woman. I need men. Just kidding. Come help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't need me. I do. Honestly, for the purpose of like being on, you know, the bake off, hypothetically. Yeah. You're not going to have an assistant. I it's mean, true. You, you can reach out to other people to you can always, really yeah. do it. Yeah. In the Canadian bake show, they're always helping each other because yeah. they're really friendly Canadians. Right. But it's not like anyone has to. Like, you're really meant to be independent. True, you are. In what you're doing. Because you're supposed to be an independent baker. Right. I mean, I suppose you're working in a tight space, so... That's it's kind of the limit right now. Yeah. I just don't have a lot of space. Okay, so I'm going to cut this cake again in half. Um, these petite fours are going to be filled with a lemon curd. I also, I gotta start checking on those um, cookies that are in the oven. So this one, um, I can actually tell that, so this cake's cracking a little more than the other one, so I gotta be really careful. Also try not to cut myself. All right. Um, oh. I don't know how this will taste, but it smells very good. It's like a very rich cake smell. Like there's a lot of butter and eggs and sugar in it. 
and you can taste them or you can smell them quite a lot. Probably just gonna have to trim off this end. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. This end is getting trimmed because it's not behaving. All right. Um, huh. Very tasty. Really, really tasty. Okay. Oh, it wasn't quite cut. Oh, that's an uneven cut. Oh, no. That's okay. Mmm, new. Come eat some of this. It's delicious. So good. Um, I think these cookies are done. We gotta. I gotta poke them. I gotta see if they're done. What am I eating? You're eating some of those bread pieces I cut off. Yeah, okay, maybe one. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. Hot. Mm, I'll let it go for. A, it smells like tea. I'm gonna let it go for a little longer. All right, lemon curd. <sighs> Another chance for independence. All right. This <laughs> is so satisfying. Um, so you can, you can make your own lemon curd. It never seems worth it to me. It takes so much effort and it's not very expensive. But of course on the British baking show, I would have to make my own lemon curd. So one day I will make some. Um, oh yeah, that is beautiful. Lemon curd is nice. <laughs> the redemption. <laughs> yes. I just, I want you like announcing my life button. Just like making everything sound more epic. I love lemon curd. Just think it's so good with like buttercream, a little sugar, a little lemon curd. Just delicious. What are you up to today, Button? Anything fun? It was rain really misty and nasty out, but the sun's kind of come out. It's um, much nicer out than it was this morning. We had like full spring for a while where it was so warm. Oh, hey, Polo Man. We are making a high tea. So I am making Petite Fours right now. I have made some scones, some uh, blackcurrant scones. And I've made some cheese muffins to go for the savory side. So I'm gonna finish up these Petite Fours um, then I'm going to make some little cucumber sandwiches and put them all together and make a really nice, pretty tray. A classic British high tea. Ooh, you have to be careful. This bread is, cake is very fragile. It kind of cracked a little when I was cutting it. Even before I was cutting it, when I was trying to move it, it kind of cracked a little. What are you up to today, Polo Man? I guess it's it's pretty pretty late for you. Playing game, reading a book. That sounds nice, but that's probably what I'm gonna do the rest of the afternoon. Oh man. Gotta be real gentle. These are a little tricky. 
getting that cake right, which is a problem. Oh, and I have little shortbread cookies in the um, oven right now, Polo Man. Some black tea shortbread cookies. So once I finish everything, I'm going to decorate, fill up my tea tray, and then Newt and I will have a nice high tea. All right. So at least the other half will keep this stable. Um, See what we can see. All right. And plop. All right, that actually, it looks pretty good. Um, you gotta be real gentle with it. Oh, very fragile boy. Um, just kind of wash my hands. I'm gonna grab the tray out of the freezer, stack this one on top gonna let them chill just enough hopefully so they gotta be cold um, that way when I okay. um, frost them it solidifies nicely so these get a cool down for about 10 minutes that's heavy. All right. Okay. Ooh, hard part done. So, let's check on the shortbread. All right, shortbread cookies are done. They look pretty good. Oven is turned off. Time to focus on decorating. Okay, so I could make my little egg salad sandwiches while waiting for that cake to cool. Um, always room, there is always room for cookies. Cookies are just just have a little tiny. So I do need to make clotted cream. That's the last thing I need to make. Um, so I guess I'll make my egg salad sandwiches while I'm waiting for my petite fours to chill. Because the instructions here: cut, place on the baking sheet, cover, and freeze until firm. These little, little guys, little cookie. Ooh. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. But delicious. All right, um, I need a bowl. I need a bowl. This is a little big, but it'll work. So I'm gonna just start peeling my eggs. These are really, really quite tasty. Oh, I can use the bowl of eggs. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't wanna. Mm. Okay, those are really good. Those are really, really good. The tea flavor, like, it's very, it's not in your face, like, it looks like there's a ton of tea, but it's not an in your face tea flavor. Really good cookies. 
You could make the uh, tea infused butter, stick it in your fridge, and then just make the cookies the next day. Then it wouldn't take very long at all. All right, so I gotta smash these eggs and peel them. Then I gotta chop some celery and some red onions. Because you need little tiny cute sandwiches with the crust cut off. It's a requirement for your high teas. We're gonna want to rinse these off. Um, I'm just rinsing them because I don't want like the little tiny shells. Come sample a cookie when you have time, Newt. There are cookies now. Yeah, just have a little tiny one. Are they going to burn the roof of my mouth? Um, maybe. Yeah, they seem very hot. Like, the outside of it is very warm. I'll, I'll eat one in a bit. Okay. I will. I will, I will, I will. Yeah, the egg cooker actually works. It's like one of those stupid things that are like $10 and it's like, as seen on TV. And I just bought it um, on a whim and it works great. Like, the eggs are super easy to peel, like, they're always cooked consistently, and it's super easy. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it looks works. like the type of thing that would not work at all. I, I don't actually get it. I know. It, it just makes steam. Exactly, right? Because, like, you typically boil, the, I mean, they're boiled eggs, yeah, that's yeah. what you do. But instead, they just steam them. You can steam it, and it does the same thing. And it's so good. So these aren't even boiled eggs, these are steamed these eggs. These are steamed eggs. But it works. It does work. It works really well. I never actually saw the commercial for it either. I just, like, it just works. Just buy it. It just works. Yo. This is not a, uh, this is, I'm not getting paid by them to do this. It just works. I don't know. I mean, it's good. I actually, I really like um, pea eggs. They're like a, an Asian recipe, but you boil tea in a big pot and you fill it with eggs. And they're called tea eggs and they're actually really good. They look um, horrible because they're all like stained brown and stuff, but they taste delicious. It's just a hard boiled egg boiled in tea. And you can get it at like bubble tea shops here and it's really good. Probably not going to catch on in America, but. Good stuff anyway. Soy sauce egg. Yeah, that's probably similar. Um. Cause like the shell is porous so whatever you boil it in it'll like take up some of the flavor i should think of like something to do for easter a little easter stream or something okay so the eggs are in here Oh, the celery is sad. Okay. Um, I don't need a lot. I need like six tablespoons. Finely chopped celery. Why is my celery so sad? It's very, um, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not very turgid. 
We can put it that way. Can we put it that way? We can put it that way. It's like rough, exactly. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna chop it very, very fine. Uh, it's still fine. Um, it just doesn't have very much fluid in it. So basically, I just, I didn't wrap it in a bag. I just threw it in my refrigerator so it's kind of dried out. That's the problem. Um, so celery is like 90% water. And most of its structure is from the cellulose holding water in it. So the fact that the cellulose has lost most of its water means it's lost most of its turgidity because it's a plant cell. Um, so it's that that's how they that's why it's stiff is water. So it's still fine. Um, it's just there's no water. Uh, you could actually fix it, like I could chop this and I could stick it in a bowl of water and it should take up the water. Um, but So you could kind of fix it that way. I'm going to cut it very, very small, so. Newt is doing crunches. Uh, Sit-ups, Sit -ups. he's doing sit-ups. He's preparing to eat some tea. Yeah, it won't be quite, yeah, you're right. It won't be quite crunchy. Um, that is true. My egg salad won't have that super crunch. Like there's still some crunch. I'm also going to stick some, um, some, um, red onion in it. That's probably too much. I'm only going to do six tablespoons of this finely chopped stuff. Probably way, way, way too much. Um, just kinda... It is still crunchy. Finally chopped. <laughs> Probably fine. All right, uh, I'm doing six tablespoons. Are we cut out? Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right. The uh, rest of this can just go in the trash. And I'm going to finally chop up a red onion. Ugh. More eggs. Stick these in the fridge. Red onion. Do this. Cut that off. Um, I'm not the greatest at uh, cutting vegetables. More of a baking things than a cooking things person. That's why I'm working on it. Always doing at least one savory dish from now on. That way I can. There we go. 
so. Also, my knife isn't very sharp. Careful with onions. <sighs> Embarrassing to have to go to the hospital for stitches. Like, well, red onions. They got me. Okay. Kind of cut these smaller. Some nice small pieces. Celery and egg salad. I actually kind of hate celery. I know it's a very odd opinion, apparently, but like. Did you say you hate celery? <laughs> yes. What? The there's just like this weird soapy. I think taste. if it's I think if it's really crisp and fresh, I think that celery is very tasty. No, if I it's... hate it when it's fresh because then it tastes the most like celery. Okay, now now I think you're weird. <laughs> I do think that if celery is like a little old, it's kind of gross, but. It gets like this, it's got this really strong flavor to me. Like the flavor of celery is really strong. If I get a wrap that has raw celery in it, the only thing I can taste is the celery. Like it's such a strong flavor. But then Newt's like, no, celery doesn't taste like anything. I mean. Celery and egg salad, yes. I mean, celery is good when you got to give something a nice crisp crunch. Yeah. Like, you know, if you want to add that to something, celery is a really great way of doing it. I think it's great in soup. I do think it's good in soup. It's just like raw celery on wraps. All I can taste is celery. And I used to just kind of like suck it up, but then I realized you can actually ask people to not put celery on. All right, what are the, what are the foods you hate, Button? Popcorn. Mm. My sister also hates popcorn. Oh no, she likes popcorn. I'm not a big popcorn or, fan. I think it was myself. my grandma who hates popcorn. One is cherries. I think I think little hand here kind of agrees. I with do cherries. not like cherries. She's not a big cherry person. Not I cherry I do person. like cherries. I think cherries have a very like I, I it, it's one of the stronger fruit flavors. So I kind of understand people not liking it. Popcorn. Popcorn's actually pretty understandable, too. Yeah. Newt's not a huge fan. Yeah, I don't love popcorn because I feel like it's really rough on the teeth and gums. And it's, I don't know, it's just mostly pretty salty or buttery tasting, which is very bland. I guess we could stick this in a container for later. That's kind of like hating ice cream. I'm not a big fan of ice cream. Oh, wait, I should just stop talking. <laughs> you know, like, I'll make him go to the ice cream store, gelato store, and he just... So wait outside while I order for myself. Ice cream to me, like it, I, I like like if it's gelato and it's like a really high quality type of ice cream, variety of ice cream, it's like pretty good. But it just seems like I don't know, messy, too sweet. I don't know. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Bruno. Bruno in the house. Bruno. Hey, Bruno. How's it going, Bruno? Oops. Dupes is in the house. I almost didn't see Dupes because he's the same color as Bruno. <laughs> Dupes and Bruno. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Dupes. Dupes is the best. All hail Dupes. Yes, we made that command. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. How was your event this weekend, Dupes? I hope it went well. Or if it's still going on, I hope it's still going well. <laughs> yeah, did you go to a wedding or something, I think you said? Mustard. Mustard. Tip of the hat. Bruno button guy. Yep. Everyone in chat. 
once I make my high tea, I will set it up and we, we can just chat with people while eating high tea. It is old fashioned Dijon. Uh, L'Ancienne, because everything's in French. <laughs> Back home and recovering, nice. What, what type of wedding is it? Like a super fancy? Or was it like a, a chill type of wedding? It is Dijon, yeah. Okay. I would never do a yellow mustard. I mean, stone, stone ground is the best one though. Stone ground is the best. I love stone ground mustard. Um, I need one third cup of mayo. In Switzerland, grocery items are labeled in German, French, and Italian. Wow. So ours are all English and French, um, which already like sometimes they'll have to put extra stickers on for the French. Milk light, like yep. Pretty big typical wedding. Nice. That sounds like fun. I haven't been to a wedding since... Have we gone to a wedding since our wedding? Um, surely we have. Surely we have. I don't think we have. We were invited to Ashley's, but we didn't go because we didn't want to fly. Yeah, maybe we haven't. I don't know. English-Spanish labels, really. And I was invited to my cousin's wedding, but again, we didn't go because we lived on the other side of the country. Depends on the food. Yeah. Yeah, even this mayonnaise. So, olive oil, poulet d'olive, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is the same in French and English, though. Making our little sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> For a while there, we were going to like a wedding a year. And then it kind of tapered off. Like, oh, there were two weddings that we were invited to that we did not go. Um, one of my relatives is getting married in Dublin, though. I think this year. Maybe next year. So I'm going to need to go to that one because I need to go to Dublin. Um, Maybe see the Book of Kells this time? Yes, we will see the Book of Kells this time. I'm using a potato masher on my eggs because I am the laziest lazy person in existence. Yeah, once you get to like mid, when you're in your late 20s, it's like wedding, 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 wedding. And then you're in your late 30s and it's like baby, 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 baby. Um, but the wedding stopped. And then it's divorce, divorce, divorce. And then it's wedding, wedding. And then wedding. it's wedding again. <laughs> <laughs> now the weddings are constant, I imagine. Yeah. People get married late too. Well, we haven't been invited to a well. Okay, there's my cousin's wedding, but we don't know many people. We don't. That's true. We don't know very many people. We haven't done the divorce command yet, Bruno. We'll make one. For when Newt's acting up. There are more lazy people. I'm pretty lazy. Yeah. I think you're around my age, right, Button? I don't know. It was like once all my once I all my friends entered their early 30s, that's when the baby starts popping up. All right, egg salad is done. Highly recommend the potato masher. Lil Han and Newt are getting divorced. <laughs> Weirge. Yep. Nice command. 
Well, so we're not going to get divorced. Divorcing costs money. <laughs> we're just going to sit hating each other like every other couple. Oh, 35. I just turned 32. Um, so, yeah. Well, maybe, I don't know. All my friends were in grad school and stuff. Divorce is too much work. Yeah, Lohan has a February birthday. I do. And just turned 32. Here, eat this. <laughs> okay, so that is a very tiny... No, we're, we're quite old, Button. We just look young, except for this beard. <laughs> Mid-20s, nah, yeah. We're, we're both in our 30s. I'm 31. I just dress like a high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> 32 gang, gang. 32 gang. Dupes confirmed older than me. True. But not by much. Not by much. But yeah. also, Dupes confirmed younger than Newt Lohan. Newt is only 31. Newt is only 31 right now. I know. I'm a baby. He doesn't turn 32 until June. Yeah. I've got a few months. Okay. No, I'll eat it on stream. I'll eat it on stream. Mm-hmm. That's what I spooky. What do you think about the tea? Like, it's not super strong. No. It just tastes good. Okay, this That's one going back in the freezer. I'm gonna start doing the petite floor with this one. Bruno's a baby. It's true. I think Bruno's really young. Me like. Super young? 20, yeah. Bruno's a baby. Bruno is such a baby. Yeah, dupes, I cut Newt's hair. I cut it. Okay. So. He tried to resist, but he could not. His hair had to get cut. All right. Thanks, Button. I put some extra effort into his haircut, so that is good to hear. I gotta trim off these edges. Oh, come on. That one's not quite smooth. You started cutting your own, and you don't think you'll ever go back? Yeah, I've been cutting Newt's hair for 10 years. 10 years! When we first met, he had been, like, going to barbers and, like, getting fancy haircuts and stuff, and then he just kind of stopped. Hmm. Tasty. I think it's easier to have someone else cut your hair. Um... But since Newt mostly just, like... Once it's shaved, it's pretty easy. All right, these are not all even. Um, I'm trying my best. This tastes good. I mean, Josh uh, Mech's boot. Dust from next to their boot. Uh, okay. So each little square. I have to frost the edges and the top. Um, and try to make it smooth. So.
I am a master of all the things and a doctor of one. Okay. Smooth. So apparently I'm supposed to stick this on something. Okay. That's a little time consuming. Um, let me make some space. So I'm supposed to stick this on a uh, drying tray. Because I'm going to coat it uh, with white chocolate. This is a petite four. Um, it's cake with buttercream oh squishy um and jam in the center um once you frost it super smooth with buttercream you coat it in a white chocolate um or fondant to try to make it even smoother so you have to get the buttercream smooth so that the fondant will go on smooth So, see my little sandwich cakes? So let's see how fast I can do this. They're um, French patisseries. Just saw the blessing run you got. Polo Man says congrats, Newt. Wait, weren't you telling me something about Polo Man? Polo Man just submitted um, Enter the Gungeon Rainbow Run, right? Okay, so. Coat. Oh. Alright, guys, what color should I make the fondant? Um, any color in the world, I can make it. I've got a whole bunch of colors so I can do combinations. Tell me what color I should make the fondant. I would make a pole, but I don't know how to do that. I don't think I can do that, actually. I think only affiliates can, and it takes like 24 hours to, the, to make you an affiliate. French patisseries are very finicky. This is like what you see in this, the window um, of a French bakery. We'll have these little cakes. Actually kind of calming. Make them look like presents. Yellow gang. I do like yellow. It's nice and spring and I was gonna try to do flowers on top. So I am fine with yellow. Um, I'm going to cross the pretty ones. This is taking a while. That's okay. We don't got no place to be. Ooh. Oh, hey. Thanks for the follow, Crocodile Tears. 
Really appreciate that. I'm uh, doing the affiliate push. I think I'm, I think I'm there now. I think so. I think I made it. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, how are you doing today? I am finishing up my um, high tea bakes, hopefully. Hopefully not much more. I know dupes, I, Buttons' husband, I think, was uh, my 50th. But if I counted wrong, then Crocodile Tears will be my 50th. No, don't unfollow. Oh, no, I might have counted wrong. Um, how are you doing, Crocodile Tears? Uh, you, you can unfollow if you want. That's okay. Um, I do baking streams. I hang out. <laughs> I, uh, I play Lego video games sometimes. I'm trying to be build up my portfolio so I can apply for the Great British Baking Show. Try to do fancy technical challenges every Sunday. Um, there's going to be a few Sundays I won't be able to probably, but in general, that's my goals. So welcome to the channel. And Button Mash hangs out. She's very awesome and an amazing streamer. I don't know if you know her. <laughs> no one following. <laughs> oh, that is such a cute email. Button is also a streamer. Button, so I do baking and gaming. Button does beauty and gaming. She did a stream earlier today doing a Yennefer from the Witcher look. Um, so we're all trying to be a supportive community here. Colonel Dupes is also a streamer. He is the best. Um, he is a little white cat. And I convinced him to play some uh, Lego villain games, so... He's been doing that. Um, I'm making petite fours right now. Very finicky French patisserie. I think I'm getting faster. I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting better at this. What are you up to, crocodile tears? Do you bake? I'm going to need another tray. I don't think I'm going to make all of these. I'm just going to make maybe nine. Um, and then, because I, I don't need that many for my little tray. Um, I can do the rest later off stream. I don't need to make a billion petite fours. It's kind of a ridiculous number right now. Um, it's definitely better when they're cold because now that they're thawing a little bit, um, they're harder to frost. So, okay, so I'm going to do nine strawberry and I'm going to do nine lemon curd. Then I will dip them in the fondant. I will make a little glaze. Um, oh, so much, so much frosting. Um, more of plastering. <laughs> it's true. I this is more of a plaster technique. Um, the little, I mean, it's basically a plaster tool. It helps a lot for making the frosting smooth. Um, it really does help a lot. So I'm just gonna get out from the freezer my really cold lemon. So, I'm going to make some space. Go. All right. Um, I'm going to go 
here. Yeah, they taste tasty. Um, I'm trying to make them fancy, and fancy is not my strong suit, which is why I'm practicing. Um, I want to apply for the Great British Baking or Great Canadian Baking Show next year. But you have to show a portfolio of your bakes, and a lot of my baking is, it tastes good, but it's ugly. So that's, that's not, you know, what they want to see. Um, so, oh. Freezer door. Um, oh, Hannah sent you. Hanana. That was very nice of her. Yeah, she, um, she gave me a, a follow today. She's a fan of Button. Well, tell her I really appreciate it. I definitely think I made the push to affiliate now. Newt, can you check for me? Um, sure. Oh yeah, lemon curd. I think I think it delays a while though. I think it has to be like the next day they do it and they send oh, you an that's email true. and everything. Like I doubt anything's happy. Um Wow. So I'm just trying to make these pretty. Um, I really appreciate the follow. The only reason I, I want to get affiliate so I don't have to ever worry about it again, you know, like, plus I can do polls and stuff. Like they really make it so that all the fun stuff you can't do unless you're an affiliate. But, you know, trying not to put pressure. I'm just a baking streamer. There's not not a ton of interest in that. Um, so these petite floors, they have buttercream in the center and they have a really nice um, lemon curd inside. Oh, Newt, can you get me the other tray? Uh, We're gonna make space. What other tray? I have no space here. Oh, that other tray. Um, um it's right there on top of the copper. So I'm gonna put this. Put this. A tray magically appeared. Oh, there's oh. no room for that. <laughs> On the floor? Oh, uh, we live in a small place. We have a very small place. Uh, frustratingly small. Oh. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, no, it, it's all... It's our little community of, of small streamers who are giving me the support, which I really appreciate. Button and Dupes and Bruno. Um, my husband, Sir Newt, also streams, and he got in with like this really friendly community of small streamers. So we try to try to be in their channels and support them, and they've been supporting me, and everyone is super lovely. All friendly, great people. Okay. It's more fun to stream when there's people around. So, all right. I'll have to have a taste off on these petite fours, fours and see which ones Newt likes the most. Um, as soon as I get another nine of these frosted, I'm gonna make a white chocolate ganache, um, which is kind of like a fondant. It's gonna cover the top. It'll be really, really smooth. I will make it in Colonel Dupes yellow. Um, it'll be beautiful. And then just kind of pour it over these. Um, probably try to find space in the freezer for them while I do that. Um, because the colder they are, the easier it is to work with them. And I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make things neat. I'm trying to make things clean. Um, trying my best to decorate, to learn the skills I don't have yet. Um, yeah, it's like, very much feels like I'm tiling my kitchen cabinet or something. Like, making a backsplash of cake. 
So if your buttercream isn't smooth, the fondant won't be smooth. It's really hard to make fondant when these cakes warm up. So I'm trying to be like both fast and um, clean. <laughs> it's like normally pick one, right? But we'll see. I was doing great on time and then this spackling has been taking a while, but um, it's okay. I've never done this before. Didn't know how long it would take. There we go. Beautiful. And I love me some lemon. So there's a few black specks in the cake here, and that's from, um, that is from tea. I, uh, made some tea-infused butter. Surprisingly delicious. I'm trying for classic flavors this time. Um, when I get better, I'll do more extravagant flavors, um. Kind of rectangular. Yeah, you can tell when they start to warm up, they start to move a little when I spackle them. You're already getting more of a flow from when I first got. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to learn. I think it's just practice, right? Like, never really frosted small little cakes like this before. They're very finicky. I think I got it now. I think I got this down. Some pro cakes. Once I fill up this tray, they're going into the freezer. It's kind of relaxing. It's kind of it's kind of pleasant. Just zone out and go. It's this very warm butter. Okay. Um, this one looks nice. I want enough frosting left to try to put little tiny like roses or something on it. So. Got to decorate. Um, so one thing you don't usually do when you're baking at home is make it over the top fancy. But all the showstopper challenges expect you to be super, super fancy. Um, A little smooth. That should be good. Um, there we go. Oh, no, 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 don't fall. All right. Um, I'm going to stick things in the freezer. I should have space, I think. Um, let's see, in the freezer, back in a bit. Uh, I mean, I can definitely fit one. Like, that's not a problem. Um, There will be space. Okay, so this just need a few 
minutes. Um, try to scrape this in. While they are in the freezer. Oh, look, it's a bot. Um, I am going to clean this up slightly. Um, let me just stack all my leftover cake over here. I don't know which one I like better. The um, strawberry, well, it's the raspberry currant or the lemon. New, we you ban the bot? Oh, yes. Mm. I think I like lemon curd better. Frosted. Um, but that's okay. This recipe made a lot. Um, and there's only two of us. We don't need to eat that much cake. I mean, these are still cute, even unfrosted. Like, they're like little sandwiches. They're cute. So I need to reuse um, my parchment paper. So, <laughs> a little tray of adorable cakes. Thanks, Polo Man. You have all, yeah, Newt does have a crazy rainbow run, Polo Man. He was actually mentioning it. Let's do this. So what I am doing. So much food. Are you, How are you gonna fit it all on this? I'm only gonna put like a sampling of each. Yeah, a sample. I've got like a pretty small tray. Oh, you can actually, make, like, you probably microwave. make like five of these towers. Probably. Oh, what smells like onion? Oh, the giant plate of onions. Never mind. I figured out what smells like onions, guys. The giant plate of onions I have. My egg salad is fine. All right. What am I doing? Okay. I am doing the last complicated step. Okay. I need to make my fondant. 226 grams of white chocolate. This should be 300. Okay. I can do this. It was the onions. Uh, I've been at this for a while. I, uh, I forgot. I was like, hmm. So oniony. So concerning. So 220, oh, 226. Um, they want 60 mils of corn syrup, a quarter cup. corn syrup but I do have golden syrup um, so this will give it kind of a caramelly taste um, so I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of golden syrup if I can find my quarter cup 
Mm. A quarter cup of golden syrup. I'm gonna microwave this, stir it up. I'm gonna put some yellow food dye in. It's gonna make it beautiful. Um, yeah, golden syrup tastes a little more caramelly. So this will be slightly caramelly, which isn't a bad thing. Um, then I'm gonna add confectioner sugar, some hot water. All right, so what are the instructions? Melt chopped chocolate. While it melts, sift confectioner sugar, add hot water, fold until combined. Um, that sounds annoying. I guess the hot water is, well, I gotta make tea anyway, so I'm gonna boil up a big thing of hot water. Um, put the kettle on. So, milk this, and I don't know that I have that much confectioner sugar. This might have to be a little confectioner sugar light. Like, because uh, I need a little bit of confectioner sugar for the, um, the glaze on my cookies. I thought I could, like, half it maybe? Yeah, I guess I'll have to. I'll do half a cup. It still means I need half a cup. Um, let's see. Half a cup. Half a cup. Yeah, I only have like a cup of confectioner sugar. That's okay. It'll be for my glaze. The rest, I'll just put all of the sugar in. Um, yeah. So I like the melting watch chocolate because it melts super easy. Um, super easy. Well, golden syrup on me. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to... I'm going to need a bigger bowl. Um, while they melt chopped chocolate, stir in occasionally, sift confectioner sugar, add hot water, fold together until combined. Let me grab my big bowl. on an uneven surface. I don't know how much. This is all the sugar I own. And it's only like 200 grams. Oh. I don't know if my fondant will be the right consistency. Um, I don't think I have any spare sugar. I'm gonna check. as I need, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to add a little less water, um, and I'm going to try to make a fondant. Um, I'm going to microwave this. 
Well, it's okay. It just might be a very white chocolatey tasting fondant, which is fine. Like, I don't particularly love the sweetness of fondant anyway. So, this will be a slightly less sweet version. Okay, I'm gonna clean this off. I wonder how, like, in the Great British Baking Show it works. Like, they all bring in their ingredients. Um, I feel like they must give you, like, a budget or something. So, I need a third cup of boiling water. My tea is taking so long because I, like, filled it, the kettle to the max. Um, so I'm going to put the boiling water in here, I'm going to stir it, and then I'm going to add this in. Maybe I'll melt this a little more. I need one of those like comfy foot things to stand on in the kitchen. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, should go well. Might not go well. find out when the water boils. Which it will do any second now. <sighs> so I make the fondant and then I just kind of pour it on top of each cake. Um, then I'll kind of stick them on the side and I will put the buttercream into a piping bag and I'll try to make little cute roses on it, um, on each one. Oh, I forgot the food bag. We're doing yellow. We're doing yellow. That's probably enough yellow. Um, yeah, that'll do. Come on, pot of water. You know, in um, England, the water actually boils faster because they have higher electric currents, so their kettles will boil faster. Also, there's like this thing I was reading about, which was like um, during soccer matches or football matches, when there's the halftime, you can see the effect on the water table and the tea kettle as everyone, and the electric, as everyone turns on their tea and uses the bathroom at the same time. I guess I'll do a quarter cup of water because I have less uh, sugar. So I'll do a little less water to hopefully balance it out. Um, and I'll make some tea. Start separating. I, the only thing I have to do is put together the egg salad sandwiches and decorate. And um, that's it. I'll have my high tea already. So let me, let me move this. See if I can find some space. I live in a very small house. I do not have a lot of space. I have very limited space. Alright, tea is pouring. So let's do this. Tea table. Quarter cup. Okay, a little more than a quarter cup. 
Okay. Get this in. So uh, confectioner sugar or powdered sugar is actually just really finely ground sugar mixed with like cornstarch. Um, Nothing too fancy. Okay, I'm just trying to get it all in. I didn't sieve it, which is kind of probably going to be a problem. feel like I'm running this is taking me a long time I did not think it would take so long it's the petite pores I tell you so taking a very long time okay and put white chocolate So I made kind of an orange instead of a yellow, a very bright orange. I hope you're still happy with that dupes. I might have to whisk it. No, this actually seems about right, honestly. Um, might be a little thin. So I gotta let it cool slightly and then I will frost everything. So, okay, while that's doing, let me finish my sandwiches. Because you never get a break in these shows. Okay, sandwich time. Um, I guess I'll just stick them on this tray. I don't have a lot of space. Um, I'm not sure if I've complained about that enough. Oh, you guys, I have another bag of sugar right next to me. It's too late. It's too late. Okay, fine. Oh, I forgot to take the sugar out of the shopping bag. My bad. My bad. You would have been so mad if I had sent them to the store. And now it magically uh, respawned. My sugar respawned in the shopping bag. Okay. So that's embarrassing. Well, um, I just have to add like another two cups of sugar to my frosty. Half. One. See how that looks. Kinda. There it goes. It's going in. That does look smoother. That is better. It was too thin. Now it's nice and thick. Beautiful orange. 
I tried for yellow. I got orange. But it looks nice. All right. Um, actually, this is looking about right. So I'm going to try. Oh, I'm going to try to make my little sandwiches. That's a lot of sugar. Dupes, it is all sugar. Petite floors are so bad for you. I didn't realize how bad they were for you until I tried to make them. That's why you have to have savory things, I guess, to balance out the 1,000% sugar. French people, they're like, mmm, sugar, carbs, all carbs, whether it's sugar or bread, and then all butter, and yet somehow Americans are the fat ones. All right. I'm going to try to do this. So these are nice, actually. Okay. This might be a little thick. Oh no. Okay, I might need to actually put a little more boiling water in because this is supposed to just kind of glaze over it and it's a bit thick oh dear oh dear okay um more boiling water to the rescue See if it tastes good. Mm. That's true. Americans do deep fry everything. Americans are like, this is unhealthy. Let's see what happens if we deep fry it. I actually really want to try like ugh, deep fried ice cream and deep fried Oreos. Like fair season, you know, you go to the fair and everything is deep fried. I kind of want to do that. Our province just lifted mask mandates, so it's almost like um, the pandemic's kind of changing. So maybe we'll be able to go to fairs again this summer. That would be so nice. And then I can eat all the fried goodies. All right, I think that's what you want. You didn't know you had to batter it? Oh man. Yeah, what happens if you don't batter it? It just kind of like goes into the oil, right? Yeah, I've never been uh, good at frying things. That's always been like, I make my husband fry things. So I don't, it makes me nervous. Okay, so you do it around the corners and you kind of let. All right. Oh, that's a mess. Okay. Doing my best, okay. Kind of spoon it. When I was watching the Canadian baking show do this. They used like a spoon and they tried to like get it to the edges. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The problem with the super bright color is you're gonna see where I failed to get it to totally coat. But it is a nice color. Oh. You still eat like you're 20 at times. Fried food all the time, stoops. Yeah, now that I'm older, if I don't eat well, uh, I feel kind of gross. I used to be able to eat whatever I felt like, and I would never feel bad. But now I'm like, oh, if I eat too much unhealthy food, I feel terrible. So old. Such a disappointment. Spent like a week eating like salt and vinegar potato chips for dinner. 
felt awful. <laughs> I had to give up. Um, these are a mess and a half. I think I'm getting the hang of this. This is Newt is not gonna want to eat these. Um, he doesn't like sugar very much. That's okay. People at my work love sugar, so I'm sure they will be happy to eat them. Any that make it to work. This is actually pretty nice. Like, it's looking smooth and nice on here. I like this. This fondant is quite nice. Um, probably putting it on too thick. Oh dear. Ugh, I'm a mess. But my cakes are pretty. I guess I could try dipping. I'm just kind of afraid that like the cake would fall apart and stay behind if I tried to dip. You know? So Oh gosh. Oh no, I want that smooth. Okay. Okay. Um, I am French. I am French. Oh, je suis français. If I tell the cake I'm French, it'll, it'll believe. Don't dip! Yeah, exactly. It just seems like it'd be easier, but also, I'm afraid. You vote. Okay, on the last one, I will try to dip, because it doesn't matter if it ruins the, the remainder of the fondant. And we will see if it's a viable option. Uh, Newt, my Hello. love, can you open the freezer and get the other tray out? What would you have done if I didn't come by? I would have washed my hands and done it myself. That's a fair option as well. There's a tray. What do I do with it? Take it out. Stick it next to me. Stick it next to this tray. Okay. You got it. Dip gang. Dip gang. Hang out with us, Newt. Ugh. I was just taking a short nap. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't wake you up early. It's just daylight savings time. Hmm. No, yeah, no, it's, it's not that. What do you think of my little cakes? They are... Yes, I'm waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, orange. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are so sticky. You know, like in elementary school, when you're just learning, like, how to describe things, like you're learning words and writing and whatever? And they're like, describe this thing with an adjective, because you're learning what adjectives are, and you're like, orange. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, it describes a noun. It does. It's, it but it's is, not very descriptive. It is not. So my mind went to that. I'm like, it's orange. <laughs> they are square and orange. Yes. This isn't Mickey Mouse time. Hello. Oh. 
<laughs> Crocodile tears is going to make me cry real tears. He taught you a spackle. Um, yeah, no, no, you're right. When you use the fingers, it makes it um, worse. I think there's a lot in common with spackling and uh, baking, apparently. Mm. Did not realize that until today. Oh boy. Oh. I believe it, Crocodile. <laughs> you can judge me. I'm a mess. This is actually a really lovely color. I rather like it. <laughs> be best, little hand. Be best. Be best. Be best. I appreciate it, Crocodile. If you have any tips, I will gladly gladly take your advice because I'm trying to learn how to do things so if I don't listen to people's advice then I can only listen to my own and if I don't know how to do something it's a little harder this is a learning stream above all above all else anything you can do to learn to be best to be best is good all right I think I'm getting slightly better. I'm just so sticky. I, mean, I could probably like pour it on them while they're sitting on the tray instead of this. Ugh. You have to be careful when giving advice when not asked for. I think it's more you have to be careful about um, giving advice when the way you give advice. Right? Like if someone's doing something and they're like, oh yeah, this is how I've always done it and I like it. And then you're like, well, I actually do it this way because... I don't know. I don't know. There's obnoxious ways to give advice, and then there's helpful ways to give advice. Also, yeah, I can't really submerge them. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of fondant, so I there's can't. Enough. All right, well, there's enough for one attempt at submersion. Ooh, can't dip them in the orange stuff. I, yeah, we think they are too, too, uh, too fragile. We're concerned that if we try it, it'll kind of like suction down and. I won't be able to get the cake out. So I got one left. I'm going to try it just to see. I'm going to try it to see. Um, but I have a feeling it's a very poor choice. All right. Oh. Okay. So. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, oh no. Yeah, it doesn't even look good. Um, I don't think dipping is a good choice. Because it's also sticky. Um, okay. Alright. That's done. Ah! Sticky. The one is saved. 
it is saved. Um, I don't think I can really, that one's kind of screwed up. Yeah, I can't really add anything. It'll just texture on top. Yeah, they, oh, they're firming up. Okay, cool. I need to clean my hands. Oh no, I'm a disaster. to make my little tea sandwiches and then I set everything up and I finally get to have my high tea. Um, these are cute. Yeah, they're solidifying so it's working. Um, the drippage on the nose. I know it's dripping. That's why I tried to put most of it on top of um, parchment paper so it'll clean fairly easy. All right, time to make some sandies. I brought the, bought the cheapest Wonder Bread ever <laughs> and I gotta cut off the crust, make it cute while these solidify. Um, oh dear. I have no space. Ah! Hmm. Sugar. Sugary. Oh no, I rubbed one against the face. Okay. That is the most space I can make, and I've already kind of made a disaster trying to make this much space. Alright. Unfun. I guess I'll make them on a cutting board. So I'm just going to make a couple. Um, I'll save my egg salad in the fridge that I don't use. Oh man. So we're definitely going to eat everything here. Everything. You will eat everything or I will divorce you. Unless you're not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I can be reasonable. All right. I mean, it was good to check. It was good to check. Because um, if you could, I think if I made the fondant thinner, I could have dipped. I think it was just too thick. Um, Invert. All right. I'm just gonna drop egg salad. Guess I'm gonna have egg salad for lunch a lot. Because you need some egg salad with your little peas. Willy Wonka style waterfall. Um, have you ever gone to those like uh, get togethers that have the chocolate fountain? Like, can I just put fondant in one of those chocolate fountains? That would be pretty sweet. Um, I think I need a fairly sharp knife for this. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna cut. 
cut these off. It would have been like so cute, just a fountain of fondant. And just roll it through. I bet like big bakeries have those. They've got to. Like big bakeries have got to have a smarter way. Um, Cause that's too, it's too time consuming. See if it tastes good. Hmm. That's good. Cute little cucumbers. No, egg salad sandwich. It tastes nice and fresh. Um, the onions, the mustard. It's pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the leftover. I feel bad for all this wasted crust. It's okay. Oh. I had no space and I ran the... Ugh. No. I'm going to knock two of my petite fours together. I ran the corner of my knife into my petite fours. Ugh. Unfortunate. Okay. This one is. I just need to be more careful. You know, we are cooking with gas. Although I have a gas stove and it's so slow. So I don't hit my fondant fancies again. Mm-hmm. The fancier, the more waste, for sure. All right. I've got some fancy egg salad. Like I got a stack of crusts. Which I guess is just food waste. I'll compost it, but that's okay. All right. So now I just kind of have to decorate. Um, let me move the sandwiches. I can make some space. Ah, space. I need a bigger kitchen. You're getting some chickens? Time to get some chickens. What? I don't. Oh, for all of my food waste. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Um, my building has a compost. But yeah, chickens would eat it. Okay. Clean this slightly. I don't think my uh, really high condo with no real outdoors would be great for chickens. I guess I could turn the like workout room into, I could turn my office into a chicken room. Just sounds like a bad idea. All right. 
I need to put finishing touches on those. Ugh. All right, here's my little tray. It's got my scones from earlier on it. I probably need to get put some of those scones not on it. Um, I don't have space for everything. Yeah, the office, my home office is now a place for chips. No, thank you. Okay, the scones are very pretty. I gotta kind of space things though. I'm thinking actually instead of two scones at the top, probably having four different things on top is the most visible layer. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really like... No, I was thinking the same thing. Um... Brilliant strategist or anything, but... <laughs> hmm. It's kind of a limited tray. It is. It's quite small. But it is pretty for how small it is. Well, we do have a lot of water here. Oh yeah, will you turn on the kettle again? Of course. Oh. This. Making my little sandwiches onto the tray. kind of cute. Yeah. Egg salad. Okay. Oh, you cut off the crust. Oh, I need to uh, make a glaze for these. Right. I forgot about that. This is a very cute high tea tray. Isn't it cute? It is so cute. Um, I need to make my glaze. Where's my book? Okay. One tablespoon of lemon juice. cookies. Have forgotten something. Pretty sure I need some milk or something. I mean, I want a very thick glaze, but. Gotta be a place. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Shove this out of the way. I have no faith. Ugh. Okay. So I can try like kind of a zigzaggy design. Does that look nice? I think it looks kind of nice. All right, all right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a pro. I'm gonna see it in a fondant, in a bag, and I'm gonna pipe it properly. There's no reason to do this improperly. this on. Um, I'm just gonna put butter and jam on the scones maybe. I didn't cut them in half. I haven't made clotted cream. I've decided I'm kind of out of energy for that. I was gonna buy it anyway. I just didn't see any in the store and I forgot to, to look really if I'm being honest. Worried I won't have enough. little tea cookies mm. so I don't want to cut open my scones um, because I am a little concerned they'll dry out Gonna make my tray nice. All right, so now decorate my buttercream. Um, I can do this. Let's see. I need a tip. Um, Grab my piping bag. I think I will go for a very small star. Um, 
should work. I'm going to put a little flour on top of each of these and then I'm going to stick it on the tray. And it will be tray at the end. All right. frosting left but I'm only doing decoration so I shouldn't need very much It's actually pretty cute. I could put a little bit around the edge as well. Sometimes I think with decorations, less is more though. Um, maybe I should decorate the lemon ones different so I know that they're lemon. Since they all look very orange right now. Um, okay. For the raspberry, I'll put an extra little deeper corner. There we go. I think that'll do. All right. Um, I'm going to try to move them very gently, one on top for sure. Okay. So let's grab a pretty looking one. Don't stick. And let's just sort of, there we go. That's so cute. And the cookie can go in here. I'm gonna put one of these bad boys. Oh no, that's there before. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. It's a little orange one. And I'll put this down. And I'll put another one right there. A little one. There it goes. All right, all right, all right. And then I should probably just put another one on top. I'm thinking color wise. Maybe have a second. Let's see here. Um, put another one there, probably. Yeah, put 
one right there. Um, put this one. Come on. Gentle, gentle. Oh, no, no, no. He pulled off his plastic from another one. Oh, these are a pain. They're so freaking sticky. All right. There we go. Whew. Careful, my scone touching. All right. I think that's my tray. Um, maybe I'll put another cookie on the inside. That is nice and symmetrical in there. And I've made high tea, so let me get my tea on. All right, so for a traditional British tea, um, you want one teaspoon per person plus one for the pot. I believe so. So there's two of us, so I should put three teaspoons of tea leaves in. I don't know where my teaspoon is. really getting shiny and nice like this actually looks like a good tea tray um, kind of a disaster with everything so just the little space is kind of a problem but it's very very nice all right uh, make some tea We wait for that to steep. Um, wow, I don't know what to do with everything. It's all a mess. Maybe I can move these. I don't think so, actually. Um, well, at least I can move these. Maybe. I shoved them all in the corner. Yeah, okay. Then I can move this whole tray. Nope. No space. I have no space. Okay. I'm just trying to clean it up. So that I can eat my scones um, in peace. Maybe, oh gosh, come on, okay, fondant is sticky and a mess, I am not a fan, I am not a fan of fondant, I've never been a fan of fondant, so, unsurprising, uh, I'm gonna move this somewhere, And their space. Wow, that's a lot of sugar everywhere. Yeah, I think it turned out very pretty. I'm trying to clean a big enough space so I can like take a picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
my sink. My sink, it is full. Oh. Okay. Um, I was going to put, maybe I'll put a little bit oh, of, um, uh, parsley on the savories, like a few sprigs of parsley to bring the whole look together. That's just taking me an hour longer than I thought it would. It's mostly the uh, fondant fancies though. That's what got me. Um, all right, let's see. I grab something like this. I like there. Stick some here on this little sandwich. Are you ready to eat, Newt? I think. It's like, come on over. I'm here. I just gotta take pictures. All right. Do we have a teacup? We have a teacup. Um. I don't think we have any teacups. Not really a proper teacup, no. Wow, for shame. Yeah. For shame. We can use the cups from the Turkish coffee set, but that is a very small cup. Well, we can do it if you if you think it's... Yeah, that's not bad. Exactly. All right. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to clean. All right. Let's take a picture. And then... Add some high tea. All right. Oh, we've got teacup ish. For our tea. That's a lot of tea. All right. So here is my high tea. Very nice. And my sink. My sink of disasters. Uh, yeah, ignore the sink. Part. Ignore the sink. It's um, very messy. <laughs> thank you guys all for being here for my stream. My high tea. I'm very excited to eat this all. All in one just, sitting. All in one sitting. There will be nothing else to eat all day. Okay. Um, let's see. What do you want to eat first? What would you like to sample? Because I even have butter for the scones and I will put on some jam for you. Nice. It's very pretty. Thanks, little granny. I tried. Very hard. Let's give Newt a scone. Oh, cutting through the center. Very clever. <laughs> Where would you have cut? I just rip it apart with my hand. Oh, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. Like a barbarian. <laughs> or a barbarian. Okay. Oh, some raspberry 
plum strawberry jam. Very fancy. I was going to make Devonshire cream. I never did. That's okay. We can enjoy scones anyway. Scones with cream and butter and butter and jam. Go ahead and eat some newt. Just take a sample, say if it's good or not, and then I will probably end the stream. It's good. Tis good. I do know. I already know these scones are good. I had I had a scone earlier. That's true. Mm. But with the jam and the butter, is it better? Mm -hmm. Were you visiting the queen, you would be quite satisfied. Mm -hmm. Tea. Alright, I'm going to raid someone uh, and take a giant nap or something. I'm tired. This took <laughs> yeah. an extra hour. It was like five and a half hours. I nap thought it was going to be four hours. Um, yeah, nap seems nice. No complaints of the nap. Mm -hmm. It's a really good scone. Um, I'm gonna post all these recipes. They're already on my Instagram, but um, I guess I'm gonna raid Bootnax. He's the only person on. Um, you can if you want. I I actually highly recommend you raid Ryan. Oh, Ryan Ruger. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I guess you're not following him, but it's his I'm first. Busy. It's his first stream. All right, I'm gonna. Oh no, look, I went down. Okay. I'm gonna raid Brian. So yeah, this is, it's his first stream, so I feel like it's very nice to support someone giving. Definitely, I think I was percent. going to sub or to, going to follow him, but then I saw that he didn't stream, so I was like, "Oh, but hey, let me raid Ryan." He's trying his first stream today, so I think that you know that's very really special. <laughs> it is a special stream. So let's all say hi to Ryan. Give him some support. Mm -hmm. He stopped by the stream earlier. If you guys haven't met Ryan, he's a really friendly guy. Very nice guy. Very, very nice. Um Oh hey Dino Mike. Yep, this is we are we are ending stream. It's there, good to see you, Dino Mike. This guy, right? Yep. It is good to see you, Dino. Um yeah, I'm just ending right now. You're here at the very last minute. I finally finished my high tea. And I'm about to raid Ryan Ruger, so if you don't mind saying hi, it's his first stream, and uh, let's try to make it special. All right, I'll see you guys. Um, yeah. Let's see. Is it doing it? Bye, Polo. You have to wait till it's ready. Oh, I have to wait till it's ready. Ooh. So bye Polo, bye Dino Mike. Bye Dino, bye, Button. bye Polo, bye Button, bye Little Grammy. Say hi to Ryan. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I'm gonna hit end stream. There we go. Okay.